and we are alive welcome to it good morning good morning world good morning melville good morning johannesburg good morning south africa it is exactly four minutes past seven uh, we are not late we are very early african time and welcome <laughs> to the show man it is the 10th of november and this is i love marvel.love and you currently tuned into marvel streets unconventional breakfast show every weekday from 7 a.m till 10 a.m we are those kids that your parents warned you about in high school <laughs> they're like don't play with them with don't ones. play with those kids mm-hmm. at don't all interesting show that we have how are you guys doing first before we start with the show how are you guys doing i'm going to start with someone that has uh, that's missed, been upset i've been missed and it's okay thank yeah. you guys for missing me oh yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, did we really miss her oh yeah yeah you did miss me Tato. you're just trying to keep it in he he, he did i'm, I'm harnessing it i'm harnessing yeah, it to, i'm yeah. harnessing it. yeah we actually did miss you actually um oh, man. Yeah, man i mean who wouldn't miss this face come on now okay and then, there we go again uh, <laughs> Now we wish that you would have I assumed she would say this boys. But, but okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to be having a fantastic show. Uh, Tiamo, yourself, uh, how you been, girl? I know that you've been writing essays from left, right, and center. Listen, again. I'm done with those things. Mm-hmm. I just can't wait to sleep. But for right now, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm having on three or four hours. But you know what? I don't feel like it yet. Yet. Mm-hmm. Yet, I feel it's like it's gonna kick, gonna in. kick in mm. like maybe come kick 11, 12. Yeah, I hope it doesn't kick in while you're doing the show, man. Let's Otherwise, we'll have to lay you down right here on this table <laughs> and you can just sleep with the mic right there and then just carry <laughs> on so linking awkward. with us, also. <laughs> That'd be so awkward, yeah. So anyway, uh, very interesting things that we're going to be talking about today. Today, we have a jam packed lineup. Um, I'm looking you forward said to that jam packed lineup. It's a jam pack lineup, man. It's a jam pack, man. Yeah, it's a jam pack lineup. Do, baby. You know what it is. You know what it is. And then on top of that, also, guys, I do not forget because we are an unconventional breakfast show. As you can see, um, at the bottom of if you're listening on the web player, because you can't hear that, um, on our uh, uh a ticker, we basically have like uh, parental guidance to sixteen language and prejudice. A reason behind all of that. Um, we are unconventional, and we know that some of the content that we have might not be very good for sensitive uh, viewers. So yeah. we just want to bring out a warning. Uh, we are not a show for under sixteens. Mature content. Yeah, it's mature content that ladies we actually have. Yes, gen- ladies and gentlemen, and then this is basically out to the web players. Also, it is an unconventional show, so um, that's why we have to put such things. Also, when have you ever had a breakfast show that has an age restriction? I don't know. I haven't even seen one. I've never seen one. Not even like, you never know what we're going to say. That's the thing. You never know what's <laughs> yeah. going to come out of our mouth. Mm-hmm. I mean, just mm-hmm. be prepared. I mean, is it really PG-16? I mean, really, we could make it 13. I feel like 16 were being safe. You know? Exactly. Exactly the point. That, that's you, what don't know what's you don't know what's going to come out of exactly. our mouth. Ugh, no, man, guys. I feel like the 13-year-olds, they can take it. They can take it. I mean, I, I know me at 13. Know. I was very, hmm, what's the word? No papa. No. <laughs> I, but no, no, I get what you mean. I was very, I get what you mean. Yeah. in the scheme of things, you know, I was yeah. doing things yeah. that are assumed as adult material. Mm. But like, mm. adult content. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But Do like, you, I, I feel fine. like, I feel like you were one of those kids that you, when your parents would watch, because you still remember when you were growing up. <laughs> And your parents watch that, um, that you're watching a movie or something with your parents. The and then the 16 shows up. Yeah. Where you don't know, like, whether to look down, look up, or... Um, My mom didn't care. It's working me. It's working me. It's working me. It's the toilet or you just make excuses i just watched i just literally also just watched because my mom didn't care it was my grand who was just like susan land susan land (laughs) and then my mom would literally just be like they're really just kissing but okay my my mom if if they seemed like they were going too far she'd change the channel and then come back when she feels like it's safe again <laughs> i personally that's what you do you, you switch it off yes, and you come back yes i personally don't understand uh-huh. we're gonna know about it anyway at you at you at you but achoo. like it, maybe it's like to not traumatize you at that age oh you know? maybe because you're also with your parents and that's awkward yeah but no my mom really she just if it was her and I, let's say, watching The Bold and the Beautiful Trust, mm-hmm. then believe I'm going to watch those scenes. And my dad used to do it in a different way, though, I have to say. Mm. My dad, when those scenes would show up, he's like, I'm going to kiss this each. Brother, this is our new... Then I'm going to come in. I'm like, why don't you just change the channel then we come back? But I'm like, really? You know, like, I ended up actually having to tell my dad that, like, next time when you see these scenes, change the channel. And, and then we'll back. come back. You mm. know what I mean? Because but he wants to see it. Like, so you must go. You must leave. No, no I want to see it go. all. So no. like, must be, he mustn't be unfair, this guy. But yeah, man, hey, my, my dad my dad used to follow age restrictions like 
to the core. Like if a movie shows up at 16 and it's like, Tat Nangak. I'm like you should know you gave birth to me. Yeah, I hated <laughs> when they not sure, but like I mean you were there. I yeah, you, you know what I mean. Like, like my aunt used to do that so much because like no one cared about age restriction at home. Like if mm-hmm. you're 13, you can want something that's 16, it's fine. Yeah. But like when I'm alone with my aunt and then you're all just chilling in the living room and then she was just like, okay, I'm on the And then she's like, look at everyone and I'm just like, bro, what is wrong with you? Like I know I'm 13, but like. I also want to watch. Honestly, I'm just like but no. Here's the thing: this thing about 13 year olds thinking that they can watch such explicit movies. There's a reason why there's an age restriction. Uh, we don't. We don't care. We really don't care. We don't care. Well, you better start. Oh. You better start, guys. Like really, you better start. Mm. So anyway, for those who just joined us right now, it is exactly 10 minutes past seven right now, and welcome to it. This is a Marvel Street unconventional breakfast show uh, with your boy Tato Malindi, Lagani Pile, and none other than Siyame. And uh, yeah, man, we are going to be having a fantastic time. <laughs> today. Gang signs. Gang, gang signs. Gang signs. What? Really? Why yeah, are you guys like know. doing? Is that? Is that? Is that <laughs> I mean, maybe it's just That's one thing that he doesn't get. He doesn't <laughs> get it. No, I really don't get Love it. it. No, seriously, I don't get it. Why gang signs? Love it. Why not? Why not? Why not gang signs? Why not gang signs? I is really like I feel like I need to go dig a hole somewhere, man, and like just dive into a. You know what I mean? <laughs> sign language. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just are you enjoying yourself? Yes. Okay. Yep. Really hate this, <laughs> but anyway, um, today we're going to be talking about a breaking, a breaking fell, um, high school, uh, on street headlines today. I know a lot of people are basically quite keen about that, and it's like, uh, uh, it's a very controversial topic, but I feel like we need to have it. We need to have this topic. It's well overdue. Um, so what we're asking right now, guys, is that um, looking at the incident, um, is this a sign that SA is moving backwards? And will there ever be unity in South Africa? And can these rising issues be resolved? And how? And who is to blame if we have to blame someone? or something, or a group, or whatever it is. But this problem needs to be resolved, and we need to speak about it. Because what I saw in the news yesterday, I don't want to see ever again. I don't want to be, I don't want to, seriously, I don't want to live in a South Africa that's like that. That's one of the reasons why yesterday we were talking about should we go. I'm like, I'm packing my edge. I'm going to Zimbabwe. Ah. Uh. Yo, okay. I'd rather South Africa. I, I'd rather. I'd rather, I'm going to I'd rather my l- country. Oh. I'd rather South Africa than a lot of African countries. Same. Same. Not even Nigeria. As, but I think my, my beef with Nigeria is that it's too hot. <laughs> but no, I mean, I'd, I'd honestly rather South Africa because mm. we're literally like, I feel like we're the best country in Africa. Mm-mm. And mm. our constitution also is just like the best. Is it? We're just, yeah, like, I mean, we it's just the have, best in terms of theory. Yes, like, obviously, like in theory, we just need to practice <laughs> it. That's the only thing. But we just like, need to practice it. Yeah. Yeah, we literally <laughs> just need to practice it. But like, <laughs> I, I love my country, shame with its like flaws and everything. I like I how you it. say shame, <laughs> like you're already feeling pity for it. Right? Like, no, but you pity. know, shame is not actually a pitiful word. Exactly, not, in, not in, anymore. Not in what, 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 what is it then? Her shame, you must know. Like it's emphasizing my point. Yes, yes. 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 It's adding that extra punch. You know. Yeah. Like uh, <laughs> you know, when someone says you're upila shame, you must know you're really pretty. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. yes. And when and someone then, says shame to me, I, I feel like you're just like some pity. I'm like, no, but there's oh, a wait, difference wait, between shame there? and shame. Yes. Shame. Ah, shame. shame. Oh, shame is an S H E M. Yes. And shame and, is in okay. Yes. When a person's okay. like, oh, no, cute shame. That's not nice. <laughs> but to shame. be like, ah, oh, cute shame. Yeah. Ah, has any, has anyone ever has anyone ever said that to you, Tiamo, before? That, that. You, uh, what's upila? Shame. No, not shame. <laughs> okay. Not shame, shame. Yeah. Nah, nah. Yes. Okay. In terms of this brick and foul high school incident, mm-hmm. which we're gonna dive into at nine o'clock. Yeah. You wanna you wanna take your somewhat of a little bit of your yes, thing. Yeah. Like enticement. Something on her chin. Yeah. Yes. Take Guys, it out, Mugel. It's, it's fine. exam season. <laughs> it is. It, it, no, no, no. When are they starting with chicken exams, Valley? They they, 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 they started. Started. Yeah. Which is my point is it's exam season and it's mm. a COVID exam season. Mm-hmm. How do you have an incident like this when people are supposed to be concentrating? Dating and studying. Oh wow. And it, like you know, for me, uh, uh, we're gonna be also looking at our uh, Mabena moment also later on. Um, and it's gonna be a huge surprise for you guys what the Mabena moment is that we chose. Um, and also we're gonna be looking at entertainers. 
Um, we're going to be looking at celebrity news. There's so many interesting things that are currently happening in the celebrity world. Mm. And also, we're going to look. At, we're going to be looking at Papa Donald Trump. Um, <laughs> as usual, the guy shame. doesn't have doesn't have breaks. Ah, yep. And then do not forget also at twenty past seven. Also, we're going to be looking at the motivation uh, muffin. I got a very interesting uh, motivation. Oh, interesting. Oh, so interesting. Mm. Oh, so you saw it? Yeah, you saw it. No, it's a very. Um, come on, I compiled the, the content. It's a very oh. interesting one but i haven't i i saw it you know when you look at it it's like mm. oh this would be great mm. you know because i just i, I don't just know like i played i played like yeah, maybe the first the seconds i'm like aha this is the one the viewers need to see this, this the, the viewers one. need to hear this the viewers need to be inspired and i was like okay this one is the one we use okay but like that's very weird that you had to use the russian accent because yeah. you want to inspire people and then you're using the are you trying to say that russian, russian accent is, is not it's, it's just inspiring. this inspiring. Theory. Like that, that, that accent just gives me shame. Brinette was actually talking on Sunday on the show that she's uh, looking for a Czech or a Russian, uh, you know, sugar, sugar daddy. Yeah, she's Ooh. like that danger, like, you know, that danger it's that they found. You know, like, Hey, yeah, baby, but it's, but it's good. I would never. I, I understand where she's coming from because mm. I'm just thinking. In what sense, baby girl? Ex- I'm about to explain. <laughs> in terms of like dating a Russian chick or just a man with an element of danger, and then he treats you like a princess. It's the most beautiful thing. Hi. But do they? Yeah, they do treat you Cancel like a princess. But do. do they treat you like a princess all the time? Cancel me, baby. I mean. I Yo, mean, see, there's gonna be a punch that comes out of nowhere. Yo, uh-uh. nah, I don't think they like black men. Aye, wait, what? Oh, They're probably even worse. Very That's worse. Shots That's fired. no, no, okay. Shots don't come fired. here with things that you don't even know. Shots fired. We watch movies, what? man. No, we watch what? movies, That's man. We watch, we watch uh, you have you ever received the, the kick clap? No, no. Well, those guys will give you a kick clap then. No, 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 no. I, look at our GBV stats. You understand that in this okay, country, no, in this country, they will hit ah, you. But those are the ones. Listen, but those are the ones that have no, been. No, but that's what those the are the cases. Always say. But that's, those, those are the those cases are that have been. Ones. Those are the cases that have been. Um, those, those are the filed. cases that they have been filed. Right. Imagine yes. the ones that have been. Listen, that's exactly my point. Listen, listen. What I'm trying higher. to say is that the guys, the, probably the, the like the Russian guys, were like, "You go, lay judges, I kill you." Uh-uh. No, you, you cannot. Uh-uh. You cannot. Uh, that's the thing. Why are you guys excusing that one? And Kali, let's leave it. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Look let's at leave statistics. it. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Defend your own. Then I have to defend my own. I see. I can see. Then I have to defend my own. You know what? It's fine. amongst the trash. It's okay. Anyway, as we proceed. Did you really just say I'm amongst the trash? Like. And we had this discussion. You know me. Do you know me that well that you can say that? Yes. That I'm amongst the trash. Yes. Okay. Do you feel like you're not amongst them? Do I look like I am? What is what, what do, do they, they look, look like? like? Hi, Bo. Nango <laughs> guy. <laughs> what do they look like, Tato? Hmm? Scary black men. No. We're looking for presenters, by the way, guys, on the Marvel <laughs> Breakfast Show. If you are interested to actually join in, then hey, send us a DM. Um, and then just make sure that you're not chauvinistic. That's what I'm asking for. Like, be open minded. I don't know if uh, I don't know what that is going on. Okay. Was that a jab? No, it wasn't because I'm not I didn't feel anything. <laughs> I didn't feel anything. <laughs> All right, man. We got a comment here from me. It's like a Jackie Ari. Eh? Ari Realoya. Ari Realoya. Are you correct? That's the thing I was t- t- telling you about. Yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. You know, so last night, mm-hmm. Jackie Pamuza, she's a writer, philanthropist, activist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Etc. Mm. Businesswoman, right? She's the mm-hmm. author of Bay. I don't know if you guys remember this book, but it trended for a while. Was it last year or the year before? Because it was basically talking about like the blesses game mm. and like how like blessy culture and life mm-hmm. is going about. Yeah, yeah. So yesterday she held a live, right, mm-hmm. on her Instagram page, and you, the amount of traction. At some point, she had forty five k people viewing yeah, her will. live. I'm not even joking. Yeah. And she's just so. I don't know if you guys know this. Um, these rumors coming around saying that people they have snakes or they s- might sleep with snakes in order to get money. Yeah, I know. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, everything. So she was basically just talking about that and how. Um, with today's culture and like social media, people like they stab a well and they should stop. 
because people are busy here with snakes and you know this lifestyle that people are living um you guys witchcraft should, witchcraft on steroids basically she was That's, saying it's witchcraft but she was also she was also naming names at some point people were like when i low bula yeah thank you my guy uh mlondi uh mlondi's like where should we send the dm for the presenter search i'm gonna uh we're gonna send you right now an email address i'll send you my email address personally actually yes when yeah manager. yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, manje, oh, manje, you know <laughs> Yeah, man, they must be fired. These people. <laughs> <laughs> You're firing us. No, no, I mean, I would never do that. Yeah, of course. Um, so this this whole situation about this whole witchcraft thing, mm. um, it's actually real. Yes, it, it's actually real. Mm. And people Did she were basic people, like I, actual celebrities. I, I don't know. If she named like actual people. Mm -hmm. I didn't stay in the life of that long because mm -hmm. personally, I'm like to each their own. If you want money that bad and you feel like a snake is gonna help you, yeah, do you boo? right yeah. Yeah, um yeah. but basically she was just outstaying the lifestyle that some in oh she was trashing influencers that's another thing that people didn't like they're like now all of a sudden if you see a black man with money or a girl who's an influencer now all of a sudden she's busy with snakes how oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah yeah a lot of people also felt like it was promotion for her book or her upcoming book we don't know but basically they felt like it was a PR stunt which i can understand because one i didn't even know she had an instagram page that's not there mm. and then all of a sudden <laughs> there's forty five thousand people watching her live listening to her tell stories about i snakes. think i remember there was like a tweet this morning that i read and mm. then they were like um not every successful woman has like a man getting stuff for, for her. her yeah because mm. that's what she was basically um insinuating crazy about stuff, crazy influences stuff, crazy that stuff, they don't that they don't know money. Money. Yeah. yeah that they they depend on men uh, all right um, um we're gonna move along right now guys uh it's a very interesting topic uh but unfortunately we have to move along uh, the train moves we move um it is exactly 721 right now guys and this is uh, uh i love marvel.love and you're currently tuned into marvel street's unconventional breakfast show tell your friends tell your family members tell everybody as long as they're under the uh, over the ages of 16 just tell them to tune in um we don't shy away from a lot of things the topic of the day do not forget guys we are talking about the Breckenfell high school incident and we want to know from you um in terms of your comments basically about this is that looking at the Breckenfell incident is this a sign that SA is moving backwards um will there be unity in this country ever and then can these arising issues be resolved and how can they be resolved and who is to blame also if we have to blame someone we're going to be opening up this discussion obviously at 10 past 9 where we're going to be talking and opening up the discussion if you want to be part of the panel discussion it's very simple guys uh send us a whatsapp a 01 uh, 0660134229 that's 0660134229 we'll add you onto our stream make but comments. you need to make sure that your wi-fi comments uh not your wi-fi comments no, but i'm just saying but like, i am doing my it's link, the only man. one it's the only way Ish. she like comments and you can also comment on in, like on facebook Ish. you can also comment on I'm Twitter, doing this to me i'm doing this to me i was just helping sorry for trying to kill me for trying to help Ay, man. Ay, kill man. me for trying Ay, to help no. Anyway, we're gonna be we're gonna be looking at that, and like how uh, Saki just said, you can comment also. But I would like to hear your voice. I would like to hear their voices. I would like oh. for you to send us a voice note. Um, zero six six zero one three four double two nine. Send us a voice note on that WhatsApp number in terms of what you think about this whole situation right now about Brecken uh, Breckenfell High. Um, does it mean that you know we we should start being scary? Should we go? Should we start now going to immigrate to like Zimbabwe? Do we go? Do we no, go to Australia? Why should we move? Why should we Zimbabwe? Move? Maybe, a... Like we should rather go to Zimbabwe or something like that. So okay, but my thing is like, why is we talking about us moving? We'll talk. We'll talk about that even later. I can move if I want to. You must. You must research, girl. We're not trying to go educate. Uh -uh, Let, let's go to a quick. Let's go to a quick ad break right now, and then we'll be back right after this addy. Guess what, livers? Spa Marvel is giving away a food hamper valued at 500 rand. To win, all you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, I Love Marvel Live, and engage on our weekly shows, Marvel Streets in the morning from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., and Marvel Drive in the afternoon from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., right here on I Love Marvel. Hey, yes, you. I Love Marvel. Live presents Black Friday. 
an on-air advertising opportunity for your business. For just 250 Rand, you can advertise your product or service on our platform for 10 minutes. And guess what? It's to an audience of 170,000 viewers. That's crazy. For more information, dial 011-718-2600 or simply email ilm.livesales at gmail.com. Increase your sales today. Don't be an idiot. All right, and we are back, and welcome to it again, man. If you just joined us, this is the Unconventional Breakfast Show. Um, we are going to be talking about uh, basically Breckenfell High School, and um, it's like I need you to hold that comment until nine because it it seems like it's very heated. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we otherwise we're gonna we're gonna ramble and ramble and ramble and end up not even following like um our 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 movement moving forward. Um, so right now, interesting stuff, guys. It's unconventional news time. And then right after that, we're going to go basically to um, our favorite feature, which is Motivation Muffin. Mm. How are yours? Uh, why? What do you mean? Uh, it's ours. Like, oh, uh, why okay. is it so mine? He, really, he, he chose for us. us. He yeah. decided for us. We like it. Yes. But a lot of people have been commenting. And I'm referring to the viewers also. Actually, I'm talking about the viewers. It's oh, fine. Okay. Yeah, like, y'all, y'all yes, can, so. Because we have our own relax. opinions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't we know that don't we know that we have, we have learned that from you um oh. matthew saying good morning to the mobile street team and tate tato dumela eh mukhaesu eh mahaesu eh dumela eh nen dumela ngbo bomme bomme ba ba go tlhapa ka lebesi ra le bo gahle matthew i think i know what he's saying <laughs> what is he saying we're saying that we, 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 we bath of milk. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Guys, so she's just getting so much better. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> no, that is so sweet. <laughs> what is it? What is it? It's a sauna. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like a sauna. It sounds it swanish. It, it has a swanish thing in it. Especially because of the tea. Yeah. 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 Mm. So, by the way, for those who just saw right now, Spa is giving away a 500 grand um, voucher. Uh, not voucher, hamper rather, 500 rand a hamper, Melville, Spa Melville. And uh, it's very simple for you to basically partake into this competition. You need to subscribe onto our YouTube page. And also, you need to uh, engage on Melville Streets and Melville Drive. Yes. That's so, all. let me understand. Yep. They need to subscribe to our YouTube to page, mm -hmm. which is I Love Melville Space Live. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Then they need to listen to the Melville Street show, mm -hmm. 7 to 10. Mm -hmm. Then it's Melville... Drive at three until six. Three until six. Yeah, yeah. and you need and to comment, and they need, and they need to comment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the only way. Then we, then we, then we, we, we follow. You know the thing they called algorithm. Yes. And then we like, oh, subscriber, person, what, what, what commented on the show? Okay, okay. All, right. all right, all right. Okay. You know what I mean. Yeah. Um, we're going to be having other other fantastic prizes um, coming through also from next week also, and do not forget the Black Friday uh, special that we have. Um, I, I just want to end. You, you, you want to enter? Bro. You really want that 500 grand hamper, eh? Bro! Yo! Simu sip ka. It's <laughs> rough. I'm thinking of my love. I'm like, I need that money, guys. Uh, and they say, like, why is Tato drinking out of a mug? Um, Because I can. Like, what must you drink out of? Out of. What like, must what? Drink? What exactly. must I drink out of? From his hand. <laughs> oh, what my Matthew? <laughs> now we, oh, my wow. Ben, that disappointed me again. He's probably drinking tea so that the voice can be like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to see that it has it has it has honey also in it, and you know mm -hmm. what they say about honey and and your voice, Matthew. I'm sorry because I know that one of the rules I always tell people that uh, we are not allowed to drink in here. Um, Hey, but it's early in the morning, Manish, guys. But you mustn't forget, we wake up early in the morning. We haven't had breakfast, none of that. Like, at least let us drink. Like, tea. I'm just asking. Management, ah, man, management, <laughs> man, please, man. Anyway, um, let's look at unconventional news now in terms of what's currently happening in and around the world. Very interesting stuff, by the way, that's currently happening. Um, If you just joined us, when we do unconventional news, we don't do it like, like how you how your conventional radio station would do with uh, reports are coming in. Like, this is your news at 7.30. I am Sban Bani Sban Bani with that voice. And then after, uh, when, when they're like, okay, you're done. It's like, yo, mungani nyakchele. That's no gain zayalad. Like, wow, the voice, girl. Um, but we actually look at what's currently happening in and around the world. And then uh, we dissect it. So COVID vaccine, the first milestone vaccine offers 90% of protection, guys. Hmm. Have they tasted it? They have. They have. Actually. And on South Africans also. Yes, actually, the trials mm. are happening a bit. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> I like the way you said it's like and the trials are happening at best. I mean they sent us an email yeah. telling us that you know they're gonna That's start can... the trial. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah. Oh. Starting the trial at best. Oh wow. It's crazy though. Um mm. in terms of that. Uh we, we are gonna be talking about it right now, guys. In terms of the vaccine and you know the stride that these guys have been making um regarding this whole vaccine uh, situation right now so this is what's currently happening if you didn't know guys so the developers of pfizer and bio and tech uh, described it as a great day for science and humanity um their vaccine has been tested on 43,500 people in six countries and no safety concerns have been raised yet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the companies plan to apply for emergency approval to use the vaccine by the end of the month it must come in eh? So that we I can told y'all, I told y'all. <laughs> Didn't I say it? I was like, there's not going to be a second wave in South Africa. You know why? Because I mean, they'll be in... <laughs> wait first. I'm prophesying. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> no vaccine has gone from the drawing board to being proven highly effective in such a short period of time. Um, there, are, uh, there are still huge challenges ahead, uh, but the announcement has been warmly welcomed uh, with scientists describing themselves smiling ear to ear and some suggesting life could be back to normal by spring. And this is from BBC News. So spring in London in Europe. Oh, true. Yeah, so no spring here. Yeah. yeah but spring here would be next year. Will be next year in yeah. January. Uh, what? No, January? no, not January. Not, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm trying to get no, <laughs> September. June. Uh, September. It's right. September. It's not June. September. No, spring guys. Here. Oh, spring. oh, I'm saying spring from day uh, here no. is next year in June. Oh, oh yeah. The way he's looking at it, he's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. yeah I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Hey? <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, well, but well. not for us. Ish. Now I have to explain to also the technical producer. <laughs> Listening is a skill, guys, man. It really is. But <laughs> yeah. if you didn't, you didn't say. Okay, fine. I, I didn't say yeah, properly. Didn't. It's fine. Exactly. So anyway, um, regarding this whole situation, guys, um, for this vaccine, a couple of countries were tested. The trials were in the US, Germany, Brazil, Argentina, South Africa, and Turkey. And they show 90% protection is achieved seven days after the second dose of the vaccine. Mm -hmm. However... There's always a bad. The data presented is not the final analysis as it is based uh, on only the first 94 volunteers to develop COVID. So the precise effectiveness of the vaccine may change when the full results are analyzed. Dr. Albert Abola, uh, the chairman of uh, Pfizer, uh, said, we are, significant, uh, we are a significant step closer to providing people around the world with a much needed breakthrough to help bring an end to this global health crisis. They're gonna make money. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm oh, thinking true. of. They're gonna the, make serious. And do you think what? they're gonna sell? They have what? Ah, we can go back. We can go back to the full screen. We are, yeah, we, yeah. They, it's a pharmaceutical yeah. industry. They, mm. they're going to sell it. But like people are dying. Mm -hmm. They don't care. Your people are so insensitive, they bro. Don't care. Like that is so insensitive. Like people are dying. Can you just at least just make it available in every single mm -hmm, clinic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. everyone can get healed so we can move on with life? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, that's that's one of the that's one of the the takes there in terms of um, unconventional news, guys. A very interesting stuff in terms of that. I don't know. Should we celebrate about it? Comment. Tell us. Is it something to celebrate, or is it like Tato man? You gotta be wary about that, man. What if there's some chips and stuff like that? Or is is that like one of those guys that made like serious guap out of this? Because they're gonna seriously make some serious guap. Trust me about that. I wanna work for a pharmaceutical. If there's any pharmaceutical uh, pharmaceutical company that's hiring. I can even wa uh, wipe the what floors. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, Because okay. I'm just like, what's Do you understand oh. how much money pharmaceuticals have made through this COVID-19 pandemic? But I'm saying your skills, In how does it align with... The... That's what I'm saying. That means that people that even uh, work as janitors can get paid 20000 Oh, that's great. But like, <laughs> what have they been being paid for? What do you mean? They, that, that's exactly what I mean. What have they been paid? Like, what are they making money from? Uh, what, Pfizer and stuff? Are you talking about Pfizer then? You said, how, do you know how much My, money... Bra, like, how, how many times have people bought vitamin Ds? All those things that you went to... Like, any pharmacy, like, next door, just mm. opposite. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's the most busiest place ever since it's been COVID. That's been the most busiest everybody's place. Everybody's sick. Everyone's, everyone's getting trying sick to and protect everyone's trying themselves. to protect themselves in terms of that. So they will dive right into that, buy vitamin Ds, vitamin Cs, a cough syrup, or hey man, that there works. Everything. I feel like people are so dramatic. <laughs> but anyway, guys, in Nigeria, mm -hmm. they reported a sudden spike in yellow fever deaths. Yellow fever? What is yellow fever first? 
what do you mean what is yellow fever oh, i don't know what yellow fever is what that's is what, what is yellow fever guys is mm, let's actually google it <laughs> <laughs> Because not me, I don't know what to tell you. Like, mm. <laughs> it's a type of fever, obviously. But like, what no, they have yellow fever and COVID. Okay. Mm. No, that's crazy. Okay. Man. Yellow oh, fever yes. is an acute viral mm-hmm. hemorrhagic yeah, disease transmitted mm. by mosquitoes. Which oh, makes sense because it's, it's hot. Really hot. Yeah. Ooh, it's hot. So, is but, it one of those mosquitoes that it's a kind of thing? Those big trans- mosquitoes. Yes. Mm. And then they. So they're saying that like it has left um dozens of people dead. Mm. But I don't understand why there's a sudden why why it's a sudden spike. You what? Know, so that's yeah, that's a bit confusing. Because I mean, isn't it's isn't the hot. climate just like it's global warming? It's hotter than usual, maybe something like that. Mm. When when someone when someone when someone doesn't know the answer. Uh, to your question, and then you try, and then you try, yeah. But you're raising your head, and it's just like, Yes, <laughs> yes like, it's like, it's like, you, you're, you're warm, but you're not, you're not big. Yeah. Like, teachers like doing that, you're warm, <laughs> but uh, something like that. So, but they say that the outbreak comes after health experts warned that the coronavirus pandemic could cause mm. some diseases to spike because oh, vaccination programs stuff. were interrupted. Oh. So, um, they're not Brilliant. vaccinating the babies in Nigeria, you know. Mm, by mm, the babies, mm, I mean mm, the population. Mm, 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 so uh, maybe they should go back to vaccinating the population. Yeah. <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> maybe. So what's, maybe that's like you know a solution. Yeah. Maybe. So what's happened with U.S. elections? Joe Biden pushes forward with plans for office. Yes. Mm. I'm, I'm so happy actually. Mm. I was just like you know what finally. Yeah. But yeah. Mm. So. <laughs> Um, so the, announcing the first steps in his transition plan, his mm. team said there would be more testing and Americans would be asked to wear masks. Mm. On Monday, Biden is expected to name a 12th member coronavirus task force. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. And that's that was that was basic that was basically yesterday, right? Uh, we had to name all of those things. Mm-hmm. And Mara, it's, it's crazy what's happening there in that country in terms yeah. of Donald Trump not Mara, and then now I, I I saw also just to add on to the thing I was like mm. just you know reading and stuff and then Trump uh the Trump 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 <laughs> you're Trump. not wrong <laughs> <laughs> so Trump camp vows election court uh fight which just began right now so yeah. they 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 are gunning basically um for for uh the Democrats and these guys don't believe it. they say this this election is not over <sighs> and this was uh, said by the White House uh, Secretary uh, Kaylee uh, Mc- McNally. Give up, Moga. You lost. Just get out. I really don't want to say anything about Trump anymore because I will definitely say some stupid things. My thing is like they're entertaining him. Mm. Like Who's you're gonna in- him? no people are inter- <laughs> clearly <laughs> people are entertaining him because yeah. they're just like, well, he doesn't want to like and he's doing this well, and he's doing. Can you just leave him? Like, but, honestly, but like maybe him. maybe for instance, his camp obviously his camp is gonna entertain him because maybe obviously. they strongly believe that you know they should have won this election um but however the the u.s electorate you say that you know what my guy there's no such thing of rigged votes or anything like that um but however if you want to go to court with it hey go to court with it because um joe biden is going to be in office guys in january exactly. so, so trump has two more months right yeah, in office and there's something else that he did but we're going to talk more about it that he did on twitter where he fired a person on twitter he did like this guy bro he did. Mm, I saw. I was like, "Wow, this guy is crazy." But man. also, he, he's firing someone now. Ah, there's like a month left, really. Yeah, really. He must yeah. just give up, ne? Really? That's what I'm saying. But can people just stop paying attention to him? He's like, he's busy mm-hmm. throwing tantrums. Mm-hmm. Megan, he'll be fine. Let let him be. Let just him be. let him <laughs> be. And since so, so Mr. Trump does not plan to concede his campaign. Yeah, he does not plan to concede, mm. his campaign says. Mm. So mm. Trump is launching legal challenges to the results um, in several key states. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I just need to understand, okay, yes. you, you can test the results. Mm. If they, okay, let's say they, they count them again. Yeah. And they come out the same. What then? What then? <laughs> it's like, okay, end. And then end. Like, let's, let's, let's say we're entertaining you yes. again. Yeah. Let's, let's try to do this and then... And then it's like, and okay, must just what must happen? You must just give it to Joe Biden. And I don't understand how um they can use this argument of um there's so many demo um so many Republicans in the country. 
There's a lot of Democrats. Well, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, what do you say? I mean, if Obama served two terms and he's a Democrat, exactly. Nah, man, they like I also feel like they are so losers. I don't lie to you. Like, I also feel like literally, like, since 1992, I think Mm. he's like the first, um, well, since 1992, the first president to be like on one term, yeah, yeah, did they just, yeah, Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, it wasn't a good one, yeah. So, um, New York, the New York Times also goes on and says Trump fires Mark Esper and uh, defense secretary who opposed use of troops on the U.S. streets because this guy opposes this thing, he fires him. Anyway, President Trump fired a defense secretary, Mark T. Esper, uh, yesterday, uh, appending the military's leadership at a time when Mr. Trump's refusal to concede the election has created a rocky and potentially uh, precarious transition. Mr. Trump announced uh, the decision on Twitter, writing in an abrupt poster that Mr. Esper has been terminated. Um, the president <laughs> wrote that he was appointing Christopher C. Miller whom he described as the highly respected director of the National uh, Counterterrorism Ter- Center um, to be the acting defense secretary. Mr. Miller will be uh, the fourth official to lead the Pentagon under Mr. Trump. He might have time, but two White House officials said later on yesterday that Mr. Trump was not finished and that Christopher A. Rary, uh, Wary rather, the FBI director and uh, Jen Haspel, the CIA director, could be next in line to be fired. Why? The, there's nothing <laughs> left. He literally has one. That's my one thing. Like he just wants to use month. the power that he has right now to do the most. Oh, true. D- that's what. That's I, what it looks like. Out. Do you He's guys actually think out. that this guy right now is basically? Um, he's basically like right now trying to incite a civil war. In America, in, in, I don't yeah. think because no. think about it. You have listen. He had troops. After this whole electoral thing happened, the election happened, he had troops uh, 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 deployed. Not Is it deployed? Is the word that I'm looking for? Is it deployed or what? But he sent, yeah, he sent troops to the streets yeah. to basically handle the situation. So some of the readies that were happening when people were celebrating were not happening like how they should. You know what I mean? Mm. And then on top of that, he makes decisions, military decisions, military decisions, defensive decisions. To fire a guy who was against him having troops, then like my guy accept, brah. Why do you need troops to be there in the streets in the first place, brah? Because mm. people are not rioting They're on anything. Literally. Yes. Why do you want to do that? And then on top of that, the two intelligent agencies, the Federal Bureau Investigation uh, Investigative Agency and the uh, Central Intelligence Agency, which are known to be the the, the biggest defensive uh, tools in America, mm. you change their directors and you want to fire. The two directors day. He's just lashing out. I, I think, really, f- I don't I think really, he wants. Uh, uh, so so young too, so he scares me, guys. I don't want to. Like, <laughs> no, like this okay, guy. I, 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 I get, understand yeah. your your concerns, right? Mm. I, I don't know if he's trying to start a civil war. I wouldn't put it past him. Mm-hmm. He yeah, because he wants. Yes, you he know how much like, he wants war. Yes, I mean. I mean, crazy stuff. It is uh, time for us to actually move on now from unconventional news. Uh, thank you very much for everyone that's uh, been joining us. Uh, do not forget, this is the Marvel Street's unconventional breakfast show. Um, make sure, man, that you send in your comments, you subscribe, follow us also, be a, a regular follower, and you probably might win yourself fantastic prizes mm-hmm. uh, in terms of that. Do not forget also that Spa Marvel is giving away a fantastic, fantastic prize um, valued at 500 red also, and there's going to be more where that came from. Um, so the only thing you need to do is just Go to our YouTuber page and subscribe. And our YouTube page is I Love Marvel Space Live. And what else do you need to do also? You need to subscribe. And you need to watch the shows. Mm. You need to watch Marvel Drive. Mm. You need to watch Marvel Streams. Anyway. Be like, you know, an active commenter. You know what I think? They should be a, <laughs> I feel like there should be like a hashtag mm. that is like specific to this hamper. That no, there is one. What is, okay, what is the it? hashtag? Okay. Spa Marvel su- uh, Super Drive. Super <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Um, it, it's, it's basically going to be announced also by uh, the social media team um, okay. during the course of the day. But yeah. yeah but guys, Thank you, you very much for, for, for saying that live on air. I'm just saying, I'm for the people to know. So yeah, when they like comment or something, coming, so, so you know. when you pick up, you know your algorithm. Like, couldn't you wait at least like, another clip a month? 
like mara sir as like see man i get a motivation man when things get hard we we talk about the good when you get hard the motivation for today is like ma we talk about the good you talk about no like the mara wait mara you just you just put your whole station under the bus mara wait mara no mara i'm going to put you under the bus guys <laughs> the people need to have a hashtag there is a hashtag okay it's just that we had decided which one to take you, you see then you should have just said that you, you shouldn't have just asked no. what <laughs> can i just but say I, though like kudos to you the coolest kamala harris i'm just saying like oh, i'm just true. putting it out there because yeah. wow okay. i just i can't wait for the day that they have a fully black person in the house like and when you say someone, fully, like she's you, biracial yeah and but, so was barack you guys Obama. matter sometimes you guys are so racist you don't even notice it's not even no, it's, it's not, not even racist. being racist she is yeah. biracial. she is biracial and we know that americans tend to prefer biracial black people over instead of a, yeah. black 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 it's, it's, black, it's, it's, black, black instead, instead of like that guy yes mm. like like when you look at him it's like your father was a bongo <laughs> <laughs> what is that So I I really can't wait but I think mm-hmm. it's a very good step in mm-hmm. the right direction yeah. especially because yeah. she's a woman that's okay. what I was and saying she's black she's right. a that's black woman true birds in one stone well that's something is for us to motivate on right now guys it's time for us to move on to motivation muffin right now and we have a fantastic fantastic motivation muffin clip is when things get hard always remember when things get hard life can throw you some curves and it's not just the things that you see coming but sometimes it's the things that you didn't see coming that hit you out of nowhere that set you back in such a way that it seems like you can't get over and you've reached your limit and your bandwidth is full and you already said i can't take another thing and then out of nowhere here comes something you didn't see coming and you're in it and in your homes somewhere in your heart these words are echoing am I going to make it. When you get into a tight spot and everything goes against you until it seems that you cannot hold on for a minute longer, never give up then, for that is just the place and time that the tide will turn. There are times when your energy feels so depleted that you want to give up that it looks just totally impossible. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, don't give up then. That's when you've got to fall forward when life is kicking dirt in your face. Don't give up then. That's when most people turn back. As long as you're alive, there is hope. You're still alive. You're still here. It's never too late. That is never too dark and we can always turn things around. There's going to be bad days, there's going to be dark days, but you got to embrace it because that pain is what makes you stronger. Pain is the high cost of growth. If you want to grow up, you want to be mature, there is no way to do it without pain. You can't grow up on easy street. And the very thing that discourages you is the very thing that develops you. No one's coming to save you. No one's coming to save you. The only person that's going to make a drastic change in your life, whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, the only person that is going to dig you out of your hole is who? You. You have to do it for you. You've got to become courageous to stand up within yourself, to face it and step forward. We all get a taste of that victim mentality. The why me? You can become the victim of the situation or the victor of the situation. You need to be the master of your emotions, not let them affect you. You are the dictator. You are the captain of your boat whether you let things affect you in a negative way or a positive way. I don't lose. I only win or learn. In life there's only winning or learning. All your problems become gifts once you learn from them. And some of you have allowed adversity to make you stop. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. Execute. 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 In the midst of adversity, execute. You going to work through this. You going to get up, you going to get dressed, you going to get out and you going to do what you've been called to do. You going to be what you called me and you going to prove that everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you going to prove all of them wrong. And if you can work through your pain, I'm guaranteeing you on the other side is a reward. Pain is not permanent. Pain is temporary. Mm. 
I will mm. say that today's mm. hashtag mo- motivation muffin was very dramatic. Yo. <laughs> it was <laughs> very dramatic. As, I thought as, you were going to be like dramatic. very inspirational. I mean, it, it, it was, but mm. I was just looking at the amount of times that I saw Will Smith cry. Yeah. Yeah, it was very dramatic. <laughs> they always use that like one, or like when he's, you know, that movie, The Pursuits of Happiness. Yes. They always have to. I love that movie though. Yeah, yeah. it's a good, it's a pretty nice movie. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know, guys. That was, for those who just joined us, man, it is exactly uh, seven fifty right now, guys. And welcome to it again. Um, this is Marvel Streets Unconventional Breakfast Show, and that was basically hashtag motivational muffin. It's a motivation muffin that we um basically gave you guys right now. Just speaking about it, like for me, I am taking that in the universe um quite relative also you have have you ever been in a situation where you feel like giving up like where you're like you know i'm throwing in the towel man this is messed up what is she doing is she like meditating yeah, chakra. Manifesting. Ch- chakra hand chakra hand yeah. oh <laughs> i got my nafest <laughs> <laughs> so yeah man um what, what what do you guys what do you guys what did you take from from that from that clip like oh. i'm gonna ask you tamo Oh, you're going to ask me. Yeah. Okay. I think the one thing that I took from that clip is that, you know, just you, you got to keep pushing. I feel like it's almost like when we get to the precipice of things, when, when we get to the edge, we feel like, you know what, this is the time to give up. And mm-hmm. they were like, now nah, fall forward. Yeah. So yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. that and there's also, <clears throat> there's also something they said, but I can't really articulate it as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. But he, they were basically just saying that you know, there's you're going to try things a lot of times, and then it's going to seem like it's not going to work right. out. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then when you're at that place, when it seems the most dark, that's when you need to push the most. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think that like that really resonated with me. And what about you, Saki? What did you take out of it? I don't know. Like the other whole thing, I was thinking about you know this meme. There was this one meme. I <laughs> know. I don't think it's a meme. Actually, it's a picture mm. of like um a guy. He works in a mine and mm. he's with his friend. And then they're busy digging. They're digging. They're digging. Oh. And just as he's about to reach the diamonds and everything, because he's dug so much, he's he just like you know, what, there's nothing there. He gives Ew, up, and it's right that there. And that's that how I yeah. feel about this like motivation muffin. It's just like yo, bro. It like keep pushing. It doesn't matter if like you can mm-hmm. find you fall, you have to pick yourself up again. Yeah. And like, you, you might be really, really, really close. close. That dark mm-hmm. space mm-hmm. could be your breakthrough. Yep. Yeah. True that, man. So you can tell us also, your view, uh, viewers right now, those who are currently listening and those who are currently watching, you can tell us also what your take in terms of your motivation muffin um, of the clip that we just actually played. And for those who just joined us now, um, you can tell us what keeps you motivated for uh, the course of the day, the week. You know, what do you do to remind yourself about it? But today's one was that when the tough gets hard, always carry on pushing because you would never know you would never know how close you are to basically making it um i've had so many experiences also myself currently still do where i want to basically just give up yeah but yeah. i am still waking up in the morning and i'm coming through and i'm doing the most i'm doing the most i'm doing the most you know what i mean yeah. you gotta um, do the most in but this life. He, what what you know what did they say you need um, to... in the end no wait, they said everything will be fine in the end and mm. if everything's not fine it's not the end yet uh, mm. there's another one that they most. say though you you must go what the life otherwise the life go something you <laughs> <laughs> something is, you must go otherwise go, the life otherwise the life we don't go know. something you if know. you don't know we don't know how you expect us to know if you don't yes, know how do you know, what do you guys do are you guys not on these social streets yeah, well, I, 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 we are on these streets no. but <laughs> i mean um, oh i found it you must chop the life, otherwise the life go chop you. Oh, oh wow! All right, is this a set in that accent? Yes. Okay. It's, okay. it's even spelled like that. The life. The oh, life. Mm-hmm. go there, chop you. Yeah, <laughs> is that life. Jamaican or is it just like? I have no idea, but it's somewhere in the African diaspora. That's all that matters. That's the only. Oh, but it sounded like Nigerian for me. Yeah, it had it had that it uh, the Nigerian. Nigerian the nigerian thing (laughs) by the way also guys uh, we are going to be moving on to our next feature uh, which is uh, giggle box and today i've got i've got another guy today guys like this guy him and 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 bill burr Mm -hmm. he's 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 the black version of bill burr in terms of like you know the way they deliver their comedy these guys are very they very harsh guys like if you don't have the stomach you 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 won't be able to I don't know. You won't be able to take them. His name is uh, Corey, Corey Holocom. 
Um, I don't know if you guys do know him. Corey Holcomb. That does know. Yeah, does not do. I know. You do I know, know South African co- com- comics, not yeah, not American. All right. Well, um, a giggle box time now. It's time for me to, uh, you know, tickle your fancies and you know, hopefully, 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 yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I don't find a lot of things your, funny. With, with your, with your, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I don't, I don't find a lot of things funny. No, I, mm. I, I just want to, you know, giggle for real. Yeah, like, I don't wanna, yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. you wanna gah, gah. Yeah, oh my yeah, god, yeah. Oh, you, you wanna you wanna laugh to the point that you drop dead. Okay, not maybe like that extreme, but you know that laugh, guys, where people are laughing and then they can't breathe. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's the one. That's and you the one and you wait and you wait for that giggle to pop out. <laughs> All right, there it is, guys. It is time for us to, to go to Motivation Muffin right now. And uh, please uh, be advised also that the content that we are about to play is not for uh, anyone under the ages of 16 and there's some language and prejudice. So, not for sensitive viewers, but very hilarious. If you have an open mind, it is very hilarious. <laughs> Fellas, uh, clap your hands. If you hit with a girl, you're going to break up with when you get on your feet. <laughs> She is one job interview away from finding out how you really feel. <laughs> men, hey, ladies, do men cheat more? Men, we, we cheat more? I think so. We can admit that. But let me tell you something, ladies. This is what y'all do, and it's really scandalous. Y'all always mess around with somebody you really like. <laughs> you know, it's, like you trying to upgrade. <laughs> I would never do you like that, you know? I can't stand the people I mess around with. I got busted the other day. I walking out this restaurant with this girl, and my girl showed up. It was just like on that show Cheaters, you know? I was, I was, oh, hey, baby, what's up? <laughs> Looked like I was swallowing peanut butter. My girl ain't make it no easier. She was talking about the girl I was with. And you out here with something that looked like that. I was like, you should see the other chicks I mess around with. You'd have followed me yesterday. You'd have been proud of me. I'm sorry you had to see her. Get away, you messing everything up. (laughs) Fellas, you might want to get my number after the show, I found an abortion clinic with pool tables in it. Yeah. While, while my girl was in the recovery room, me and the doctor was gambling, I won all my money back. I'm up a hundred for the next time I go. That was a joke. Ladies, I'm on your side. Let me tell you something. I'm on your side for real. In fact, let me tell you something, fellas. <laughs> I'm about to switch it up. <laughs> hey, if you really love your woman, I see a lot of y'all got your girl with you tonight. If you really love her, she should be able to check the voicemail on your cell phone <laughs> and your email. That's right, because if you're a real player, you got an email and a cell phone she don't even know about. <laughs> I always get out the shower. Hey, answer that phone for me. My real phone buried out back in a potato chip wrapper. <laughs> you should see some of the ladies. They like, I don't like him. All you guys out there who are amateurs in the dating game, tonight, if you were a girl you don't know that good, don't leave her in your car unattended. (laughs) There are things in your glove compartment with your real name on it. (laughs) When I'm out with a girl I don't know, I'll be like, hey, look here, I'm about to go out here and pump the gas. I'm gonna need you to go out there and do the windshield for me. It ain't a request, you know what I mean? It's not a request. Uh, 
<laughs> crazy stuff, eh? Hey? Crazy stuff, I crazy didn't stuff. Love. I knew I wasn't going to love. Yeah, you wouldn't get it. I think, not that I don't get it, like, it's just um, not funny to me. Okay, well, <laughs> it, it wasn't that bad. Because, well, no, I think... It wasn't that bad. No, besides not being that bad. It wasn't that funny. Oh, okay. You know what? <laughs> I think you know the what? problem is that you... You know, sometimes with something that is supposed to be funny, because you expect it to be funny, you expect miracles when really the beauty is in the simplicity of what the person's saying. And the simplicity of it was just not hilarious. Okay. Okay, no, it's fine. <laughs> I, I understand. I'm not actually. I'm not even gonna fight it. You know, tomorrow you're gonna you're gonna come up with a giggle box, right? You're gonna come up with with, okay. with something that's gonna be funny. Yes. That's less than five minutes. That's right. I'm gonna find funny too. And, yes. Yeah, because I mean, we're trying to make you funny, not the audience. Oh. What? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Anyway, thank you very much, guys, for joining us. So this is I Love Marvel Live. It is exactly top of the hour right now, and this is when I go under the table and do the show under the table before I get like scrutinized. Right now. Oh, wait. That's <laughs> pretty sloppy pizza. I was like, I'm 15 and a half. Oh, I'm oh man. man. Ish. At least you're still watching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know about that. Hey, uh-huh. You're 15 and a half. Aye, aye, aye. When I when I when I. I don't know. This kid like looks like one of those kids that stout. No, lost uh, stout. Fifteen and a half is a good age. Yeah. At least it's not like Four. thirteen. Yeah, yeah. But at least it's not like thirteen. <laughs> anyway, for those who just joined us, it is Marvel Streets, guys. Uh, it is top of the hour right now. That means uh, we are basically doing a recap right now in terms of what we were talking about. Uh, we were just playing a giggle box clip for you right now, um, just to try and get you guys uh, laughing. If you also didn't find it funny, just please send in a clip, uh, comment, and say um, I agree. Which like that wasn't hilarious. Like it didn't help me with anything in my life. And then also um, motivation muffin. What did you take out of that motivation muffin? Uh, please do tell us. And uh, do not forget also we're going to be talking about the very interesting Brackenfell high school incident um, at the top of the hour this is basically the most controversial topic in South Africa at the basic moment right now so what we want to find out from you guys uh, regarding this uh, specific topic is that um, looking at the incident is this a sign that South Africa is moving backwards and that will there ever be unity in South Africa and can these rising issues be resolved and how and who is to blame if we had to blame someone for these incidents and do we blame someone for these incidents that's the question um but we'll answer obviously most of those uh later on and then also do not forget a feature that's going to be coming through uzo's herter uh, going to be coming through and uh, hashtag lava seat also and uh yeah lava seat is going to be interesting because last time we were supposed to play then someone wasn't around but like you can't you can't use the questions that i sent you did you send me questions I sent you questions last week, but you can't use them. No, no, don't worry. I'm not going to use those oh, questions. Okay, okay. I got different questions. Okay. She almost caught me last week, so I need a, I need a, I need a payback. It's my payback moment. Who almost caught you? You. you. Me. Yeah, you did. You, you asked me a question that I didn't want to answer, but I had to answer. Oh, kind of, it's like this. Yeah, it, it was, yeah, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm asking her. Yeah. No, you're asking Oh, yes, yes, you're asking me. Because he wants to ask me. You can see how he's looking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, Janet, let me ask you. <laughs> let me ask you your it's, it's like it's going to be too emotional. It's like it's sometimes. What do you just, mean? I get too emotional. Yeah, what do you, you do, mean? bro. Like you get what too you emotional, mean? bro. Like, no, I don't. No, I don't want to walk out of the studio and then have to like, slap me at the back of my head. No, I don't. Like, why did you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> and this is how I, I picture her slapping because, you know, She's short. height. Yeah. I'm not why that did sure. you? <laughs> <laughs> You're not that tall either. Uh, you know, yeah, but. So, anyway. <laughs> Um, I don't know, man, but I want to ask her though, because these questions that, that I had in my mind are ones that I would want to ask a model. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I, mm-hmm. I, I you understand I, 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 because that's a profession and those questions that I've got, uh, around that. And you guys want to find out more about those questions. You must join us. Love a seat at quarter to nine. It's hot. I'm trying to and I'm going to ask, questions. I'm going to ask the questions that pe- guys have always wanted to ask models. But because I asked my boys, I'm like, give me questions that you always wanted to ask a model, but never had an opportunity to ask the model. And they gave me top five. Ah, I was like, yeah, my boys. Yeah, my boys. 
I'm, I'm going to call you someone tomorrow. <laughs> I don't understand why you you were gunning for me. You're like, <laughs> literally. Yeah, well, literally. I don't know. Do you guys have interesting ones also? I don't know. I'm going to, I have two that were left for you Last specifically. Week. Yeah. But you know what? I don't know. I'll, I'll Please, come up with something. Are you going to tell me so I can ask him those ones? Okay, you know what? We, you know what we can do? Mm-hmm. I think we can make it fair for, okay. for all of us, you know? Oh. Um, We'll each ask each other two questions. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? So okay. you will ask her two questions. I'll ask her two questions. And, you know? Mm-hmm. Then we both ask yeah. two questions. I think it's like, I want to ask you, like, I haven't found that question that, like, is going to, I want to, I want to annoy him. That's the thing. Mm. I just want to like get under your skin, and I'm just like, why, fam? Because I just. Do you enjoy just doing the that? The joy of it is amazing. Why? Why would someone enjoy <laughs> getting under another person's skin? We just, don't know. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I'm gonna <sighs> try get that one question that's gonna. I hope you don't. Okay. Yeah, man. And then anyway, obviously you would hope that. Yeah, obviously, I have to. And then another thing also that we're going to be talking about is the Mabena moment. Um, yes. Later on, that one is going to be I interesting. I knew it, Mabena. I knew it. <laughs> Does that fight me again, Mabena? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to look at the uh, hashtag just don't do it. Mm. You know, just don't do it. Those ones are just basically uh, hacks. So we're going to just, you want to mention something and you're just going to just tell people just don't do it. You okay. know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. Just don't do it. You want to mention something? Let me think. Just, Just don't, don't do it. Do it. I, I really think, don't think too hard. I won't. Okay. Don't think about it too much. Yeah. Too you know much, what I mean? If you lose, if you lose a game on FIFA and you throw like your a control towards the screen. Don't just do don't do it <laughs> exactly do i mean you but like I mean? no one has to tell you not to do that if someone has to tell you there's a problem exactly you. hey but you know you know you guys understand when you play a console sometimes it really does get into your skin. no 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 i think you guys are just emotional when it comes to sports mm-hmm. so emotional unnecessary <laughs> men bro. are so em- oh my lord when the whole house must be sour because some guy didn't put a bull in the net please hey Please, eh? but Feels. but a life must move on Feels. after that. Yes. Boma, boma. <laughs> and then also we're gonna look at a fantastic feature called "It's Techie," and the Virgin Active has got something for you guys. Yeah. And Virgin is also coming up with these ideas and what's not like Richard Branson ain't playing around. <laughs> this 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 thing that I'm gonna uh, talk to you guys about it's a hyperloop uh, port transportation. Um, so basically, you can travel from here to America quick. That's that's amazing. Like. But quick. it's also probably two million, so like quick. Like you can call me right now and you're like, yo, boy, what's up? And you're like, um, where are you, man? I'm in New York right now, man. I'm about to chill with my boys and stuff. I mean, I'll check in the next hour, man. I'm 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 in South Africa. That's how fast this hyperloop is. What is a loop? But now it's gonna be a big tunnel for him to build. But this was a tester though that they oh, did. Yeah. Okay. So it's like basically I'll explain it. Okay. I'll explain. Okay. I'll, explain I'll explain. I'll explain for you guys. So that's basically what's gonna be happening. And do not forget also entertainers, uh, which we're gonna dive right into it. Uh right after this ad bag. Do not forget spa is giving away a hamper. And don't forget also our Black Friday hamper. Stay tuned and do not go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. Guess what, livers? Spa Melville is giving away a food hamper valued at 500 rand. To win, all you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, I Love Melville Live, and engage on our weekly shows, Melville Streets in the morning from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., and Melville Drive in the afternoon from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., right here on I Love Melville.live. Hey, yes, you. I Love Melville.live presents Black Friday an on-air advertising opportunity for your business. For just 250 Rand, you can advertise your product or service on our platform for 10 minutes. And guess what? It's to an audience of 170,000 viewers. That's crazy. For more information, dial 011-718-2600 or simply email ilm.livesales at gmail.com. Increase your sales today. Don't be an idiot. And we are back. Like how that guy said in that uh, voiceover, don't be an idiot. Uh, 250 rand, you can get yourself a 10-minute uh, interview right here, live on air, uh, to um, a crowd of 180,000 people. Why are you doing that? Because when you said we are back, my mind immediately just thought, we are back. <laughs> uh, wow. wow. That is not cheese. That's baloney, bro. Wow. <laughs> 
That is not cheesy at all. No, 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 no. Call no, no. me Peloni. <laughs> that's not cheesy. That's Peloni. Yeah, man. For those who just joined us, welcome, guys. Welcome back to it, man. It is exactly eight minutes past eight right now. And this is the Unconventional Breakfast Show. And I'm doing the show with uh, none other than my uh, favorite people. One was about to cut me, as she usually does whenever I do my link. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was just like, you know, let me keep quiet. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But, so, did you hear that? Did you hear that exasperation? Like, uh, and I was like, you know, wait, let me waste him. Let me waste him. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kill me now. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, so it is the unconventional breakfast show, guys. Uh, we do talk about a lot of content and we don't hide away from uh, certain issues. Uh, we are human. So whatever we express also, it's not because we are trying to be extra or anything like that. It's an opinion that we have from our side, but we want to hear your opinion. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, the platform is about you. Do comment, guys. You need to comment. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm with my uh, lovely two co-hosts, that's Tiamu and Asaki. Tiamu. Yes. Um, okay. Before she jumps on, okay. um, I know you got something interesting in entertainers. We're gonna dive into entertainers. Now. She jumps yeah. on. Mm. All I was about to say is that but anyway, oh, yes, because you guys I are talking guess. about cheese and polona. I was like, oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. Same, bro. Right now I'm just thinking, right also, maybe one with snook. I know, no, huh? ah. no, I just thought about it like snook, maybe no. add her, mm. 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 no, mm. 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 no. cheese. Mm. Like no. Where do they sell macarons around here? Yes. Hey, you see, now living in the suburbs, <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. Now you gotta walk down the street, go all the way to Campus Square to go find that lady that stands outside there that sells macarons. Really? Don't they, I don't it, know if they spa have macarons. Spa. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do have it, but like now macarons. Otherwise, what la e makulin? Yeah, outside that lady. No, I, I checked that lady. There was that lady here by the uh, convenience store. Yeah. She didn't have, she only had Ilo Kuzan. She only had like, um, what you call those? Scones. She only oh. had scones and stuff. Yeah. But she is, she usually has uh, a Makuinia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very hard to get fed cooks these days. This, eh? bro. Yeah, and Spa does have fed cooks. They actually do. They have them like, they sell them in bulk. You know, oh, they so do. they don't sell you like not uh, singles. No, not 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 the way you are used to. I mean, they are retailers. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can't say that, man. You can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. It's a good thing that he's that side. That side is like, amazing. Yo, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On, to <laughs> On to entertainers. On to entertainers. So, for mm-hmm. former generations actress Tuli Pongolo's post about maids backfires days after Zenande Mfenyana's controversy. So, we all know. People are dramatic. Okay. DJ and former generations, the legacy actress Tuli Pongolo has come under fire on social media after her post about maids rubbed people the wrong way and mm-hmm. backfired against her. The actress played the role of Namsa, obviously, blah, 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 blah. Everybody knows everything about her. We want to know what she's saying. The actress posts about her maid, how her maid stayed up till late, well, till well after midnight to help her undress. Did mm. not come well with most people. Writing on her Instagram stories, Tuli Pongolo wrote, guys, not my helper waiting for me till 28 minutes past 12 mm. to help me with my dress and my PJs laid out for me. I appreciate her so much i can't and then she put like some praying hands on the crying face and uh. so what's the backfiring part about it uh, that's and my surprisingly th- the post caused mixed reactions among mm-hmm. social media users saying that if Tuli really wants to appreciate her maid and domestic help she should ensure that she works reasonable hours <laughs> others accuse the actors of being insensitive by actually posting this on social media mm. Guys, like she just wanted to, like her helper clearly just wanted to, like stay up and help her. It's not as if she forced her or anything like My that. My thing is, what is her job? What is what, what, what job she title? What is her job title? Helper. Mm, mm. So her duty is to help. help. Mm. So I don't understand why people are so. No, because they want to pick on get, like get, the, the tiny things. Because I saw one yeah. comment there; they mm. were like, "No, but then if she she they should have like she should have ensured that um she works proper hours and all that stuff." And I'm just like, "Okay, okay, I understand that mm. point." Mm. But when a person just wants to help and like you know is being a nice person is really just being genuine. Now it's a problem. My thing is, it's an appreciation post exactly to her helper saying mm. that you know what. 
I acknowledge that at 28 minutes past 11, that's why she put the time. time. Yeah. This the is what time she's that she, doing she's this for me. For me. I yeah. appreciate this mm-hmm. so much. So why are people... But I mean, there's some people, people who came to my defense. Can, 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 I, can I be a... Um, the the other guy, yes, you know, you as much as you the guys. Other guy. No, you like, are the other be guy. the I mean, come advocate. on, I have to be the devil's advocate, you know, okay. in the situation. I'm just saying, like, you know, when you were referring to the effect of like, um, her her job is that she's a helper. Yes. The job title is uh, duties rather is to help. Yes. But now that is like mildly vague, in terms of the helping yes. part. You know what I mean? Um, there needs to be certain things that okay, you help me with this, this, this. And, you know, mm. I understand when people are saying that I'm at hours, but if this lady also like, and I, I agree also with you guys, but if this lady is like, no, it's fine. I'll help you after that. Yeah. And if she didn't feel, cause sometimes, you know, helpers feel like, Hey, I have to stay. If I would say no, Hey, now what if I end up yeah. losing a job? But those are like, like assumptions. Like, yeah, listen. I know there are assumptions, but that's what I'm saying. That sometimes other helpers, they they, they feel they, like they feel like they have, they have to, to. Okay. and it's not something of you know. Her but clearly, she doesn't like do it that. all the time because if she's posting at this one time, clearly yes, she doesn't, doesn't do, it do it all, all the time. The time. Mm-hmm. And another thing is, I'm just thinking, like maybe this helper understands that because of the kind of industry that she's in, mm. she might be working late hours and late whatever, mm-hmm. and. You know when you you have a helper, you and that person, you communicate with each and other. That mutual and you, respect, you, that mutual you know? respect, that mutual understanding mm-hmm. of okay, there are you know there are certain days where you go home at five, but there are some days I'm going to need you later on. Yeah. I'll pay you extra mm-hmm. hours, and you can sleep here. There's a there's a guest room yeah. or yeah. something like that. People mustn't now automatically assume that. Tuli is overworking, being, overworking, exploiting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, what guys? Oh, well, uh-huh. that's 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 the take in terms of that. Social media will do the most, but yeah, that's the take in terms of that. And you've got another interesting one that you had. I do, take, so. guys. Okay, this one is a, a bit old, but yeah. it's still you know, but in old, oldie but goldie. Yeah. Yes. So everybody knows Simpiwe Dana, right? Oh, yep, yep, and yep, she yep, yep. publicly said that she is part of the queer community. Yeah, boy. She made the bigger announcement on Twitter saying, I've been holding this in since forever. Mm-hmm. I am gay. Now, the Aww. multi-award winning singer and actress also revealed that she and her lover will soon be walking down the aisle. Yep, 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 yep. Guys, I just... <laughs> I just want oh, to say man. that her fiance is gorgeous. Really? She, like, she's, you know, because she's, I, I would assume, like, seems there she a is. very. Um, there she is. She looks, she looks gorgeous. Let me see. Yeah, she's very gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. Like, because they're both very feminine, mm-hmm. which I, yeah. I didn't expect. But like they're they're really both beautiful. I, can I just say like when when you say feminine, yes, Simpiwe is feminine, yeah. yeah. But there's this other side. Like I've seen there's Simpiwe a side in, of her that's yeah. I've masculine. I've seen her like yeah. in events, you know, yeah. when we go to events and stuff. Like that. Maybe for me, I think it wasn't, um, and I don't know. Maybe for a lot of people that have been around her for 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 some time, also, it's not surprising. It's not surprising, you know, like yeah. like when when mm. when I heard the announcement to me, it was. You know, like we were talking about it, like on on Brenda's show. It's like it 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 didn't it didn't shock us. It yeah. wasn't like a. Oh, I personally, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, I personally it, was it, like, it wasn't it wasn't a shocker. I at was all. I was very shocked. I was. I mean, I don't know her personally, mm-hmm. right? So I I couldn't dictate what kind of personality she has. Mm-hmm. And another thing is, you know, I actually never knew who she was dating, when, why, how. Yeah. I, it, it also, honestly, I also didn't like Apparently, you, know, you see her in these events, but then she was, you know, like people that would come in and friends and stuff were, were you know, uh, the ladies that were checkered shirts, you know, and, you know, oh, okay. yeah, so you could check, they're like, oh, okay. But like, it wasn't, it wasn't, how can I put it? Yeah, it it wasn't, wasn't shocking. It like, wasn't, oh my gosh, it's yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. It was like, Hey, okay. okay you know, yeah. yeah so uh shout out to her by the way and uh yeah. congratulations also with e- your engagement, uh, engagement you know uh yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 but anyway talking to twitter on thursday yeah. Yeah. the ndiredi hit maker admitted that she was scared to come out mm. as she didn't know how her fans across but, mzanzi mm, would and react. africa Ish. would react to the news yeah. She wrote on her Twitter, and I quote, I know coming out means Africa will block me. Mm. But after a lot of thinking, I'm okay with it. Mm. I'm marrying a woman, and I've never been happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, guys, yeah, yeah, I just, 
I don't know. For me, it didn't really shock me because I feel like we live in a society or a generation where being queer is not something that's much of a hoo-ha anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, in some communities, yes, but like the the community or the society that we've created also as the youth has yeah. just like allowed us to be okay with such yeah. things. Yeah. I think she's going to probably maybe even get like more traction now. Yes. I don't know. You know what I mean? like, there's going to be more support also for Especially music. Especially from the queer community. Because mm. they'll be like, okay, Okay. Mm. Okay. So I, because the queer community you, support each other. Yeah. And they support each other. But I, I understand because mm. it it kind of feels sometimes that they they're on their own or rather they they have themselves to support themselves. Yeah, yeah, um, you know, heterosexual people are not always the easiest to engage with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I understand why they they got each other's backs. Sabawali that support. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Send in your comments also about that. Do you think Simpi Dana must just come down, man? We are all Ooh. accepted her. Everything's gonna be fine. You, know? you can't tell her that she must come, come down, down because she's like her, ne- no, she's ne- her feelings listen, are valid. If she no, you guys, you guys are missed, taking this con- uh, context of mine. Like, so <laughs> uh, you are kicking it outside. I am saying she mustn't <laughs> worry that Africa is going to you know block her, block her out. Okay. That's why I need that validation. That people need to send those comments like simply no man we are it's here fine. for you here for don't you. worry yeah. that's what i'm talking about you know what personally we're not even in your relationship mm. that's all we you care more about that saying. you know what i mean we really do mm. Mm. what's what's uh, another one that you have on entertainers i know you got something else that's interesting on entertainers i do let me just look mm-hmm. for it i know it's um this thing is so gaze he calls out south african celebrities for being vocal about you u.s relations this is why she's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. So, but like, I don't understand why, though. Okay, so local comedian Siv Ngezi finds it humorous that Mzansi celebrities are so vocal about the U.S. elections. The nail-biting race between Democratic nominee Joe Biden and U.S. Um, President Donald Trump has been the main topic of conversation, both online and in real life. Mm-hmm. I feel like we all have an opinion. We all have to have an opinion because whoever is the president... Guy. In America affects everyone mm-hmm. here too mm-hmm. in the whole world. I, I really understand where he's coming from because I think I don't think his problem is the fact that we're being vocal about it. Yeah. I think his problem is that we're being vocal about elections that are not our own. But when it's time to be vocal for our own, that's actually true. That's okay, actually that's you know, I mean it's, it's crickets unless yeah. the NC is paying you. You know, like, <laughs> I'm not even lying like, in terms of like Bonangli, aka yeah. they were doing PR stunts, they're busy calling Cyril. I'm like, how oh, much did they pay you to do that? You know what? I think I think maybe that's one of the reasons why um these these kind of topics that we have, like on street headlines, when we look at things that have happened like at, at Breckenfell High and, and and all these kind of incidents, is that politicians in South Africa in general, our governance, first of all. You know, guys, I've never been a fan of our administration because it hasn't been doing well. Mm. But I'm not a fan also of... That's an understatement. It, it, what? Right. Understatement? Like, the fact uh, which that one, it which hasn't been I, doing what, well. What word must I use, girl? Give me, give me a word. It's detrimental. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no words for there's it in nothing. the dictionary also there's in terms nothing. of how dismal uh, yeah. their okay. performance... You know when they say your performance is so dismal? <laughs> <laughs> Where has been your government for the mm. past? I don't know. Yeah, like twenty years. Literally. Oh, true. Twenty, 20 years. Twenty Wait, years. Isn't it more than twenty now. Well, I mean, more than been, twenty, but we're gonna. Like kind of say, you know, totally yeah, twenty-six yeah. years. But I'm gonna let the six years. The six years will give it to them because you are trying to find structure. Then we don't blame you. Yes. But, but the other twenty. Do you think it's fair for us to expect mm. that much? Okay, no, I'm just saying, little. This is a question I'm putting out there. Also, I was just giving that look. Also, also like, hey, I'm like, do you think it's fair for us to expect so much, though? It's we only sh- been 26 <laughs> years. I'm, it's I'm only asking. been 26 years. And that's what I'm asking. I am done with this show. I am leaving. I'm playing devil's advocate here. No, no, no. Some no, no. people might be 26 like, years, girl. It's a lot. Okay. Some people are like, okay, you know, a 26 year old doesn't have life figured out. A 26 year old could only be. Um, cognitively, you know, away mm. at like what sixteen. So mm. you can't count all twenty six years of his life. Okay. In in terms of our our state, your government, guys. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, nah, Five hundred nah, nah. billion. I, was, I didn't expect to be killed. Five hundred billion. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. You know, that question. you know, it's it's like you creating something for us to argue you on about <laughs> yes. it. You know, and with... another thing is the amount of corruption that mm. happens in our state. If they could just take that money, guys, mm. and just. Build Put South it Africa. In the right yeah. places. You know yes. what I'm saying? In our education mm-hmm. system, in our judicial system, it's really. 
Uh, but they're putting it to the SAA, guys. Like the next thing is just they're you write your name and then you're passed. It's gonna be write your name, write your name on the exam paper, and then it's a pass. What? I I see that coming. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. Thirty percent pass yeah, rate. No. I mean, not pass, pass, pass my, exactly, bro. Like, and how can someone be happy that I passed thirty percent? And how can you, as a parent, also say I'm to anam o pass it? Thirty percent, you are thirty percent is to make the the Department of Education look good when they fill in their the numbers. Like, rate, so South everything. Africa's pass rate is on seventy five percent or so. But what is the pass rate? It's thirty percent. Oh, really? Yeah. So you are basically dumbing down our kids. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm saying that. That's why when I made that comment yesterday, when you were asking me, when I was talking about this break and high thing, and this this is stats. City Press has uh, published this thing. These were stats mm. that a majority of people that want to leave South Africa are young black, black South, South Africans. Africans. Mm. Which is this is stats and facts. Which was something new for me because usually, you know, you, even that you, joke at Trevor Noah is yeah. like, I'm leaving, I'm, I'm going, I'm to, going Australia. to Australia. Just, yeah. and now he has That's to change the job. <laughs> <laughs> It can't be, it can't be carried anymore. And must this one you live? Don't you listen? I get Maya. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. So, I saw that. So, I'm really. And you know what? I, I basically believe that mm-hmm. it's because of how we've been run. Not even we. Mm-hmm. How the Kethlas yeah. have been running the country. The country, yeah. Yes. It's as simple as that. The administration of this gap of this country has has been poor. I mean, and I understand what you're talking. We're gonna move. Forward, obviously, from entertainers, yes. but it is basically on the backlash of what um, um, Stephen, Stephen Gacy was, was actually saying, and which is basically quite real, also in terms of that. Mm-hmm. It is that the governance, the administration, rather, of South Africa for the past twenty six years, right? Actually, I'm gonna leave this. That's what I'm saying. I'm leaving that six years, mm-hmm. like yeah, like 90, from nineteen ninety four to to the year two thousand. It's like six I, years. Grace. It's great. Grace. This is yeah. when now. As a country, you're like, okay, you guys are trying to reestablish your strategies. You're trying to find out what you're going to be doing. Mm. But because of the fact that the level of corruption was so high in South Africa that we couldn't pass by. Do you understand that um, if you look at the history of Germany, West mm. Germany and East Germany, do you know how long it took for Germany after they, they, they became one? to basically go out of the development phase because that thing destroyed them. Mm. It took them less than 10 years to get there. Singapore, Singapore, Singapore was in South Africa. When we had our democracy within 1994 until 2000, we were having a ball. Singapore was going through hell. Mm. That country was going through hell. The early years of 2000, that's where Singapore now got itself reestablished again. And they, Singapore looks good. Hey? Look at Singapore oh. now. Looks, and then we're gonna be like, no, just, uh, don't need, we need to give them more years. More years. For I, what? Latino is saying here is like Americans complain about Trump but still vote for him. South Africans complain about the ANC but still vote for the party. What does this mean? Exactly my no, point. You know also, it's, it's, it's one of those, man. Ish. I believe uh, the youth one in South Africa doesn't vote, right? We do. We leave it up to uh, the elder generations, especially and black they, people. And you know where they're and gonna vote. They're gonna you know, exactly. vote. You know where they're gonna vote. ideology that. The ANC is still a that liberation movement and from and a despite, and despite even that, now I'm gonna tell you something. My dad was an MK. You know what mm. MKs are, right? Yeah. 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 My, dad, yeah. my dad was an MK, and this is a guy that he bleeds ANC. But right now, my dad is that person like I'm done with ANC. And the reason why he's saying this, right, is because he was one of the individuals who were there at the time where the ANC before it got into power. Mm-hmm. These are the same phrases that Nelson Mandela mentioned that if the um, ANC does to you what the apartheid, uh, uh, apart, uh, what you call government, did unto South Africans, do unto this uh, ANC what, what you, you did, did to the, the apartheid. apartheid. It's government. as simple which, which as really that. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. But now, however, is that there's only a few people who are educated to that point where they'd be like, you know what, I'm taking a chill pill out of this thing. Mm. The biggest fear that they have, these guys, is that they feel like if they're going to vote for someone else, they fear the fact that apartheid will come back. Come back yeah. That's yeah. the only fear that they have. They are also not happy about it. But mm. our grandmothers who and our grandfathers who go and vote, they don't play around. 
Uh, when they go there, they go both there. Indeed. Exactly. Even my mom. This is why, like, I really do respect the EFF, though, because it's this, like, new mentality of trying to let the youth lead. Yeah. You know? But EFF also, it's, you see, that's the thing. That's why I'm, I'm like, I'm not politically affiliated with yeah. any party. Yeah. I'm affiliated with what an administration is. And I feel like our country needs to go past this whole political party situation. And let's rather vote someone for the case for the sense of like what they are bringing in so mm. if for instance you take leaders from each political parties like for mm. instance i think precious also once mentioned this thing and i wrote an anecdote also on my on my facebook about it that mm. i feel like that's the new south africa to make everyone happy is you take all these leaders from all these political parties right mm. and you give them we vote for instance we're like okay who's the finance minister you have what right from da you have what right from eff you have what you vote for that person to lead oh, that so party. basically, you want us to vote for like for a specific as, person. The, yes. Basically, we vote for the people in the cabinet. In, in the cabinet. Okay. Yeah. Who's gonna lead this specific department? Oh, Who's gonna okay. lead so this specific cabinet? Department you, of Education. You know what? We vote. I, I, you know I, what I mean. Like, I love that idea, but I also think there's. Uh, it might not work mm -hmm. because a lot of people are not educated, and exactly. a lot of people don't. They, they don't, don't do their they, research. They don't do their they'll, research. Be, mm. they'll be like immediately because this person's ANC will vote for them. Exactly. And that's exactly what is happening in um the bit elections. Because mm. the PL, PYA, was, which is basically the ANC, they got the most votes. But the reason why is because they are a party and people vote for the party, for the party and not necessarily and not for person. people. Because mm. there were some people who were independent but, and they didn't make but it. But you see, that's, that's the thing. The, these, kind of the laws, these kind of laws are like this, guys. These, these kind of laws are... You, you, this strategy has been you you put it in in a way that it works systematically so in other words what you do is that you take maybe two individuals right from each political party okay. right mm -hmm. and you put them into one thing and you cannot you if you're gonna vote for instance for the president mm. you vote for one person mm. so there's only two people from anc that can, so in other words anc cannot rule everything there. there's only two people there's only two people from the eff there's only two people from represent okay. so you basically have the equal numbers of individuals and then you're like okay who do you want to be your president out of all of those people who do you want to be your finance minister out of all but those it's people the association with the party that you still seeing. you can vote anc but we you can have six hundred thousand votes that votes for ANC to be the president or 600,000 votes also that vote for Cyril also to be like the finance minister. But the system won't allow that. It will look at who basically won the votes in the president seat. You have the president. Who's the second person that won the votes in terms of this? That's that person. Second vote, third vote, that's that person. That I way you have a country that's going to be ran because you got, I'm telling you, got the ballot papers. I'm gonna end up going to a freaking uh, election thing with a ballot paper that runs down until Third Avenue, looking at each political party that's there. You will never, lot, eh? seriously, you guys Aha, are never gonna get exactly. You are never gonna get a way party. out of this uh, so. the situation that we're currently in if we basically don't change the system of how things are done in terms of electri but you uh, know, uh, elections. But you know what? In terms of us changing the system, that also goes back to our government. Our government does not have leaders. So how do we expect the judicial system, the mm -hmm. voting system to be changing? I mean, we can mm, uh, we mm, can honestly mm. speak from here to Timbuktu and say, do this and do that. Hey, Timbuktu. But, yeah, but like, we, I, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. Yeah. But if they cannot... Um, they cannot instill any change. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going mm -hmm. to happen. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. true. That is true that, man. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for joining us, man. We are very heated when it comes to such topics. Do not Dude, forget. Um, politics, um, especially. Nine o'clock, we are going to be talking about the Breckenfell High School incident. And if you want to comment, send in your voice notes also on WhatsApp. It is 066 Um, The question that we are asking regarding that is that looking at the Breckenfell incident, is this a sign that South Africa is moving backwards? Uh, will there ever be unity in our country? can these rising issues be resolved and how can they be resolved and if we have to blame someone who do we blame we already know who i blame but who, who can we blame bl I, I, i'm blaming I, I, south african citizens not even the government i'm blaming us as south african citizens because that's the thing if you don't have if you don't have it in your mind that you control your way you react to situations and you control how you basically feed yourself and your mind then yeah, it's child yeah. it's child that's who I blame. I blame that we as South African citizens don't want to move forward. And I'm referring to every ethnicity, blacks, white, colored, Indians, 
all I ethnicities. Don't I don't feel like I've we been, don't want to move I've forward. Been, I just feel like everything was just swept under the rug. Like after yeah, apartheid, like, everything was just like, okay, well now we're like equal. So, so like, what, you what, know, what was supposed to rug. happen? What was supposed to happen? Uh, uh, economic king. Repar- Repar- reparations. We did yes. have that. Didn't you guys what? see? Mm, we did after no, 1994. When we had, are, when are, we are you talking about the TLC now? Yeah. Yeah. That counts, guys. TLC was really not economic. It was not economic. That was done for for victims to hear stories of what really happened to people in their and lives so okay. to admit to and to them closure, closure. Yes. emotionally yes. I'm talking about Le Imali yeah. yes we never Flan- we did Flan- the Flan- emotional part but mm. when it comes to like the privilege the economic and the economic one. which is what is also a big factor of contrib- like contributing to how I, our emotions as South Africans are thinking it's the economical uh, exactly yes. because black people are just there, like okay now we're we're behind we're the, we have we're no the money, majority we're, but we're still at the bottom okay I need that. you guys to understand one thing also right as 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 and as leaders you guys are leaders right now you are reaching to 180,000 people yes. right you must understand one thing mm. you are entitled to your opinion. Okay. Mm. Ooh, I was about to. Ooh, I was about to buy. I was about to buy. No, you are entitled. You are entitled. You are entitled to your own oh, opinion, yeah. right? But also, you got a responsibility. Yes. That you have. Yes. So what I'm trying to say is that yes, we are we are voicing everything that we are doing, mm. but we need to also look into the depth of our responsibilities yes. in terms of what we are talking about. It's a very sensitive topic that we are talking about right now, and. I want us to basically open up. I want you to express yourself, like how you express right now, in terms of economy and stuff like that, right? Okay. But I need you guys to be very responsible in terms of your approach okay. of what you are saying, because it's a very, very okay. heated yeah. topic. Even though it's twenty-six years after democracy, but, but you know what okay, I mean. Yeah. Okay, let me start. Mm. What I'm saying is the TRC was a very beautiful idea, or in fact, it was. It was. It, it served its purpose, right? In in terms of how we heal the hearts of victims and black people in South Africa, um, in terms of the the atrocities that were bestowed upon us, right? Mm. But I feel like we need to understand that from 16, when was it 52? When Jan van Riebe kids shows, right? Mm-hmm. And then somewhere probably in the 1500s, when the economy was started, black people were put at the back, right? We were made slaves. We were made workers of white peoples and and whatever they wanted to move forward, right? And then when the National Party came in in 1948, right? Black people were not given any economic incentives at all. They weren't Mm. even allowed a good education system, right? That is years of falling behind. And I'm thinking... That as soon as we got um, freedom and democracy, we couldn't have just said like, okay, we move forward. We are no, now all equal because yes, we have equal rights and our constitution is beautiful. But like like I said earlier on, it's in theory mostly, as we can see with the break and fall, fall high incident, right? Mm. We need to be con- cognizant of the fact that black people do not have money in this country, and we cannot say that we are equal as South Africans if Politically, we are not equal. Economically, we are not equal. I can't even say emotionally. We're yeah, not equal. We're not. I just feel like every time when people say this, I'm like, okay, can we please just look at I feel like right now we want equity more than anything. Yes. Because, and I always think about this, like the picture, this one picture that I saw this one time, where equality is, they're all standing. Okay, there's three people. They're standing on the same yes. level, right? And then one is tall. One is medium height and one is short. And they're trying to see over like uh, what they call this offense and stuff. And when it comes to equality, that's what it is. We're all standing on the same platform. Yes. But the shortest one doesn't see what's over. Can the I, one in can the I tell you guys something now in terms of that? Okay. Uh, there was something that was created, which was also abused was, by the very same people that they were. It was created. B-E. Yes. By the I, same, I very same people that they created that. for. No, that's the thing. You need to have that. that responsibility that you but mustn't be biased in terms of no, I'm not the comments that, that you're going to be making my thing about is that, this okay, issue. B-E, for me, it's like BE just created. For me, I feel like BE created the equality. BE wasn't equity. 
And I another thing with the BE, like... or rather a problem with BE, is that it, it creates this mentality in black people that they are not good enough, that they are given this job well, because, because they you're are black, black yes. and not because they are qualified. But this is the that's, problem. You see, that's very contradictory in terms of what you're saying. Because you are saying right now, you need to be, you, you need financially, we need to be on the same level where we were because we didn't know that so now there's a system that's installed to help bring you to that level so that you can gain like some financial traction faster than the others than the other groups right that is created for you and then when you get it you misuse it also and you abuse it yourself okay that's what i'm, I'm me, trying to refer okay, to like okay, but okay, when you're I... referring when you're referring to putting people on the same economical scale yeah. don't worry guys i'm i'm i'm, I'm a very Today I'm on, I'm a very open minded person in terms okay, of I'm this discussion. Very open minded person every day, but <laughs> let, let, let me say my point. I don't want black people to have a victim mentality. Let's start there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's not have this thing of yo because of apartheid. I can't. I, I can't, can't. I do can't. This, I can't. I can't. Yeah. No. Right. But we mm-hmm. also need to. We need to be real. We need to look at life and how it's looking. Right. Mm-hmm. In terms of BEE, right? It's a beautiful initiative. But my point was when democracy was instilled i'm not talking about now because mm. by now we should be reaping the benefits of what happened 20 so that's our ago. government problem now. that that is like our government that is our problem. government those are the right. people that you voted in power that we Who's you? i wasn't even born <laughs> <laughs> i was i wasn't even born please right that should have been instilled long time ago to make sure that okay at least even if it's not an equal footing mm. black people get a step up but now what they want to do is give us rdp homes what's that going to help me with you give me a house, but you don't give me a way to sustain so, it. Yeah, you see, this is what I like. I like, I like, I like how this this topic is actually coming, and mm-hmm. this is where now I'm gonna go back to 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 Tlaki's situation, for instance. Mm-hmm. You are referring to the fact that right now your government did A, B, and C, like RDPs and what's not, mm-hmm. but those are the people that I empower. Yeah. Yes. So for me, it's that thing that empower. why is it in power? Why is it then that you find a certain group now? Throwing, I'm asking, mm. throwing stones on, and not just only the white Africans, but even Indian Africans, um, yes. even throwing stones at those specific ethnicities that, that it's their, it's their, yeah, they are richer. Why is it that we are not being rich, rich by black people? But however, the majority of people that are in parliament are black people also. So now you are throwing rocks on people. Like that's what I want to understand. Mm. I understand why, why would you put a blame? On, um, on 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 Ryan or Mohammed for Ryan and Mohammed doing what they do most in, in terms of hustling. But however, you want a, 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 your government to help you and assist you to bring you to that point. But your government are, is the people that's not doing that for you. Why is it that you would have that? That's what I want to know. Why would you have that? Because I've been sitting. I've been. I've been. Your yeah, I've yeah. been sitting. I've been sitting in situations. In corporates, I've been in a corporate environment. I've been in the arts. I've been mm. blessed enough to live in the township. Blessed enough to live in the suburbs. Mm. Blessed enough to have black friends, white friends, Indian friends. I'm I'm blessed in terms of all ethnicities, mm. and I know the kind of topics that actually happen around our social groups, right? Our and social groups. Our social groups, and I'm referring to millennials. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. and different ethnicities at okay. the same time. We all we all have certain chats about it. That when I was in school, for it, I'll give you an example. At Aberton High, there was a chat that I. It's always like your Mohammed. If it's not Mohammed, it's Nakita Naidu. That's always in the top ten. You know what? That's not even who's, a lie. Whose fault is that? It's no one's fault. Like, <laughs> whose Naidu, fault is that? Nakita Naidu. Is, no, but listen. Okay. You know what I mean? Like but that's what I'm trying to say. To... There is that. Why is it that? Why? That's what I'm trying to say. Is that why is it that now we're gonna blame the fact that uh, Mohammed and Nakita's father and mother, right? They installed that kind of growth for them, that when you grow up, when studying, 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 A, B, and C. And then also, you fault Ryan, who his father owns a business. When Ryan leaves school, he's got a business that he's looking at. But you fault Ryan, you're like, Ryan has your government already, in that sense, are not the ones that are creating these opportunities for you. And oh, if yeah. they are, they are taking money away right. from you really for are. you to yeah. be prospering. Listen, but you are throwing I'm... rocks at other ethnicities. That's what I want to know. Okay. That's all. With, in terms of throwing rocks at mm. other ethnicities, right? Mm. And black people do, do do this a lot, right? Mm. Um, with the white people one, it's a it's victim mentality. Mm-hmm. It's mm. a thing of, you know, for 300 years, we were colonized. Mm. And this is why we are at the place that we are right mm. now. And you're but still in terms benefiting of Indian, from your yes, white from, from your white privilege. But in terms of Indians, right? They were also, 
I mean, in some yeah. sort of way, they were also they were, oppressed yeah. during apartheid. Mm-hmm. But they have done very well for themselves. But another thing is, you know why? Indian, yes, that's what I want. Please let me finish my point. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Indians are very supportive of one another's business. That's what I'm referring to. Yes. They, they will read black people in order for black. <laughs> Black people, people to aren't that you yeah, know we're not that united shame i'm not even gonna lie black people, <laughs> and what what mt was saying is true yeah, yeah, i am I, I I I succeeding and everything oh, no, and that's the mentality that so we need there's, to change. There's, there's there's a there's a one thing that's called a web doctrine i don't know if you guys know a web doctrine no. and a web doctrine is basically it's 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 a system um, created to uplift a community mm-hmm. and that system was created to uplift a community but it's been uh, com- uh, the communities have been um put onto ethnicities more than just the place okay. right so it's basically um there's a book by um by this guy called i don't know china gray or something like that capitalist um a nigga, a nigga okay. right mm-hmm. and in that book he speaks about a web doctrine Okay. And he speaks about how the Chinese people have done a good job in doing that. How the Indian people have done a good job and how the Europeans. Mm, and yeah. That's why I'm saying that at the end of the day, you're going to say to Europeans that they still have the privilege. What? You want them not to have the privilege? You want them to say, okay, no, let's, the let's, let's, we, you take we, it. We, they, we they worked hard today. on that web doctrine no, because they are on their own. Listen, they, their they own community. But that's the thing. They focus on their own community also. That's how True. they grew up. They grew up knowing in a village, right? Everything that and anything that happens is to uplift this village, yeah. right? That's the mentality that they've always had from back then. Mm-hmm. In the Indian community, that's why the Indian community could prosper yes. even after apartheid because it's a mentality that they've also had on lifting that. Now, the black community, mm-hmm. we have never had a web doctrine where we like we are uplifting this whole village. It was just no, that village did. Why do they have that water? You're why do they? And this thing, guys, look at your history. Know your history and see how many clans have been fighting amongst each other instead of, and it's a clan that's not even far off. It's like a clan opposite the street, opposite the river. <laughs> but instead of you guys coming together to, that, to mm. create, to create like, oh, okay, in that clan, they've got, they got berries, right? We don't have berries, yeah? We're going to we get berries avocados. from there. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Let's swap. You, you get what I'm yes. saying? Instead of trying to go steal those berries from them, mm. you know what I mean? Because that's what, they, that's what happened. Yes. They would fight over those berries from another place and person's land. And this is the same thing that's happening here in, in our country right now in terms of the black society. Yes. Is that that's why, why do you think that uh, this, and t- uh, Vusiti Maguire once spoke about it. And I'm talking about a Love prosperous that man. man mm. That he spoke about this. Like, why is it that black people have this mentality that they have? That because now Vusi has this specific card that he has, right? You are now looking at your life that I also want the same car as Vusi has, right? Mm. But I'm going to try by all means to make sure that he doesn't even prosper even further, but make sure that I prosper out of... Ahead out, of him. Ahead of him. You know what I mean? Mm. But I don't look at the fact that, you know what, if I talk to Vusi, maybe and there's something we can work on out, and, yeah. you know, work Coming out together. so we can come up with it. Mm. Yes. And then when you do get that gig from that, from your, your yeah, black Vusi. brother, because you got the gig, and I'm like the deadline, I'm going to tell you live right now. And I'm going to tell you out of my businesses also. I'll tell you live right now. The people that I work efficiently with are other ethnicity more than black people. And I'm not saying all black people are like that, but I'm going to tell you the reason why. Wow. I'll give you a deadline and I say, I want this thing by the 11th of November. I'm going to get it by the 13th of November. <laughs> <laughs> that small element, I am saying, no, I'm not saying all, all black people are like yeah, that, yeah. but it's that small element of understanding the business element in terms of what we are trying to do. You are saying to me, Tato, I'm looking for an opportunity. I'm looking for a job. I'm looking for something. How many, how many black people are in this, in, in the, out of all the 56 people that I've got in the station, how many black people are there? Quite a lot. 50. Okay. Yeah, a lot. It's a lot. And you're going to tell me that I am not uplifting my own community, but I won't think twice if out of that 50, three or, or 10 of them are not giving me what I want to get out of this, uh, what you call this, this station. And then I get another group of people from another ethnicity that can give me what I want to prosper out of this thing. Then I'll take you out because clearly you are lagging. It's as simple as that. Mm. But I mean, in, in terms of that, then it shouldn't be about race. It should be about the fact that you are not performing. performing that's what I'm referring duties. to. That's what I'm referring to that is that why is it then 
that then we're going to throw rocks at other ethnicities who are performing, but not exactly. But we need to look at ourselves. That's what Tim Evus was saying that, guys, stop looking at other ethnicity or other groups in terms of they, are, they did it on themselves, they prospered on themselves. Like Why Samuel don't you do the saying. same thing? It's that victim mentality you that need have. to take it out because you're I not going to go forward with it. It's easy to say that because you are woke. Think about uh, Swangile from Alexandra, Extension 3. Then it's my duty to teach yes. Swangile from Alexandra you to be to, woke. Yeah. But she's not joining in on the station. She's not listening <laughs> right now. She needs to listen ah, to the station so she can be woke. It's, it's another thing, though. Like, if we, like we put it out mm. there and everything. So what's the way forward, though? Like, for us to actually be like, okay, fine, and have this mentality. Mm -hmm. And in order to, like, you know, move forward. Because, okay, we understand that the youth is the future of our country. Yeah, yeah. So how do we instill this mentality within the you know how You know how you do that. Okay. It, st it, starts, it starts small, right? Mm. It starts with small things. It is the next generation and the mentality of the next generation. Mm. Yeah. If we as millennials right now, right, who are basically, and I'm talking all ethnicities. Mm. I'm talking everyone that's South African. I don't care if you're green or yellow, if mm. you are South African. Right. If we all have that mentality that, you know what, this is your war that you guys have. I'm talking about all the guys. Yeah. Right? It's your mentality. Busserol. Don't bring that mentality to me right now. We mm -hmm. are trying to move forward. Yes. If we can just have that. And I'm talking about all because even the other ethnicities, they are taught also from a young age that when you see this specific person, that person is a, a, not even a terrorist or a thief, because most of the time, people that still are black people so yeah. now a white person sees a black person and like click, click. yeah but they've seen that a black person is the one that's a they're stealing a lot but and their family they didn't teach them that no it's an individual thing yes. they taught them that it's black it's people that do thing. that yeah it's the mm -hmm. same thing with us also in our family where they told you that there are white people who are racist out here mm -hmm. they didn't tell you it's an individual disgusting thing by an individual they they told you they that it's white people yeah. so if we take out the generalization on ethnicities and look at individuals in terms of their call behaviors and we call it there. individuals mm -hmm. yes then we can teach that to the next generation that's coming then you can have a prosperous uh what you call this community Otherwise, if we're not going to do that, I'm telling you, this is going to be an ongoing war for years and years and years in this country. For years and years and years okay. and years okay. and years okay. and years <laughs> and years and okay. years. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know what? No, but I hear you. Okay, I feel like I, today I was very open-minded to hearing your side. Mm. Yeah, and because yeah. you gave us your side. <laughs> <laughs> so you're making it sound like I posted, you like I shoved it in your throat. You like, you gave us hey, your side. You were just like, y'all ain't talking. Yeah, until I, I am saying what I need to say right <laughs> now at this moment. And you're, no, I heard yeah. you. I mean, you made some you. valid points, but I, I genuinely believe that it's, it's it's harder and than it's it so seems. Hard now. Yo, bro, yeah. Yeah. true. Yeah. It's it's harder than it seems to go and change um a whole oh, a mentality. whole people's yeah, it's mentality. a lot of people. Yeah, it's, it's a lot a, of people. That's yeah, true. So, but like, I I feel like change begins with one person. Yeah, with that's, yourself. That's the only thing I can say. Change begins it with one begins person. Begins with yourself, so. and then you influence the people Other around people, you. And then I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I mean, but there was a hashtag that um I started with Quincy also that we started live on air actually. Mm. Hashtag New SA One Love. You know, mm -hmm. um, where we were just basically talking about that. Like, like I mean, we as millennials, we are the future right now. The yeah. debt that's currently happening. If you want us to, if you want to bring all South Africans together, talk about debt, yes. talk about the Springboks, then you'll have the whole of South Africa <laughs> in one thing. But to talk about debt in the Springboks. Then you have the whole of South oh. Africa. But the problem is that why can't we take that narrative, that language, onto other spheres? Mm. Let's make it political. Let's also take it. Let's also unite in other spheres in terms of making like this great nation. This is the motherland, guys. This is where humans started. This oh, is where true. the humans were conceived. All ethnicities, all races were conceived right here in South Africa. Ma the how many natural disasters are there in this country? None. In your history, have you ever heard an earthquake and no, I mean there was, I mean, there there was, was a word There was a word. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Something we, to do with the yeah, it's it's which, like which, <laughs> which, which place, which place in the world where you can experience all four seasons perfectly? I mean, when it's winter, unless, you, you unless experience it's winter properly. 
you, you know what I mean? But that's what I'm trying to refer to that when it's winter, you experience winter properly. Yes. When it's you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like our country is so beautiful, it has yeah. got so many so it, it you know shows what? that this is we where humans on, begin. We, we we focus on the negative things of our country. That's the problem right there. You know what I'm saying? We we mm, yeah, even your leaders. But that's like a human thing, like that's it human is. nature that mm. you always have to shed light onto the negative things and not I, mean, I, I, I honestly feel like our country should be the most prosperous country in the world. We really should. That's why I'm saying that like we have so much potential to be a superpower. I think mm -hmm. we just take out our government. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> seriously, like something needs to happen there. Guys. there like that's there. Where, that's where the problem there. is. I don't wanna lie. The problem is one. Something needs to happen it's there. The which government. no, I think the you amount know? of corruption that is happening in this country is really, genuinely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And once we can sort that out and actually put in these money where it needs to be, us. like you're taking us. from us, your mm -hmm. own people, my tags your to own go people, and spend it. On what? <laughs> on a Louis Vuitton bag, oh. man. <laughs> on a Louis Vuitton bag. On a you Ferrari. Said, like, something okay? serious, like agriculture. Please. Yeah. Please. Anyway, it is time for us. Right now, for those who just joined us, guys, welcome to it. It is your unconventional breakfast show with the, the uh, maniacs. Well, cause of the maniacs at this moment, I gave us this name. Yes. Uh, they'll probably be we're saying that. We're not claiming it. We're not claiming it. I'm not claiming You know, um, maniacs. <laughs> um, my name is Tato Malendi. Yes, <laughs> and we are your unconventional breakfast show right now, guys, and welcome, welcome to it. We talk basically things that are quite unconventional. We don't actually shy away, shy away shy from away it. From um, on the show, if you just join us, there's still another hour of yes. excitement for you to actually have with us. Uh, but previously, we were talking about Gigglebox. Um, we had uh, Corey uh, Holcomb on Gigglebox. We had also unconventional news. And we we're talking about Papa or Donald Trump. Um, as usual, Papa, because you like imitating him. Papa. Because really <laughs> he's terminating everything. <laughs> <laughs> so we we're talking about him also. And then uh, also, it's a Tuesday, so that means it's street headlines. We're talking things political. Um, and right now, what's currently happening is that the, the break and fell high school incident has been something that's been rising up in terms of controversy and a lot of people i know are shying out because i know i can see viewers there's a lot of viewers that are viewing but you guys are shying out i don't know why you're like listen maybe people are just listening like mm. i'm not gonna do it first i'm not gonna say it you say it first you say it first, say it first. Say it first. Then i'm gonna say it after that you know what i mean <laughs> Um, but we'll open the door for you. I mean, we already did. We are talking about basically our government. Also, there was another thing we were talking about. And then we were looking at entertainers. And we're looking at Simpi Dana, obviously, coming out of the shell. And Simpi Dana introducing herself also. She as, came out uh, of the what? closet, not the shell. Yeah. It's metaphors. <laughs> You know, yes, it's, but it's the, the right one is the closet. Okay, it's why are you gonna correct me just like that, bro? No, like, because I need to but tell you, they understand what be, I mean, though. Out of the to, shell, bro. No, but coming out of your shell is just not being shy anymore. Yeah, she was, she, was, is saying, is saying that yeah like, she was, I'm, she's not being shy about her sexuality. <laughs> Hey guys, I, but anyway, okay. she was. I want to change it, man. Okay, so <laughs> do the things that make the things to happen. So, anyway, Simpi Dana actually came out also. So, that was something that was interesting for us to talk about it. And uh, we are just saying also, um, Siswam, do not worry, Africa is not going to block you. No, the Africans that are going to block you, those are the naive ones, those are the ignorant ones, those are the ones that, uh, problematic. yeah, those are the ones that, um, well, yeah, um, to say something so problematic, yeah, no, like thank people you for like saying. both. Yeah, that, and then that's... I was gonna say someone's name, but never mind. Oh, oh. don't do that! Don't do that! Don't yeah. go, 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 no, okay. because this person, wow. Yeah. Yo. Anyway, and then also another interesting thing that we are going to be looking at right now is that uh, the story of Uzo's Herter, and I know this girl has we've been waiting, bro. Die, bro. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You have I just to. don't play myself. No, 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 bro. There's no such thing I as that. Don't. There's no such thing as a person that doesn't play themselves. I no such thing. Myself, Do you believe in that? Oh, you wanna use? You don't know how to use it. Yes. Chef, technology. Chef, did you There's have a person at the, at the corner. You yeah? just story. double tap it. Huh? Did you have your? Uh, yes, I already she always has. Last week, I what? even have other stories. So double tap. Double tap this side. And then it lights. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, technology, baby girl. Um, uh, you know. Yeah. Anyway, you were saying Uzo's head. I'm just saying that, like, I never hurt myself. Like, I never play myself. <laughs> There's no such thing. I don't believe you. Uh, me too. There's 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 no person, such thing. Like career, Kelly, one, career one, bank wise, bank wise situation. You know, you always thinking relationship. That's no, the problem. No, because I, because uh, literally that one, scared me, bro. <laughs> that one, no, but that one <laughs> really like every time, me. every time I think about like Nzo's head, I always yeah. think about that one story, and I'm just like, bro. 
Like, why did I gotta do that to myself, though? <laughs> like, why? I'm gonna think about the time I played my song. When mm, I can't name this because it's a, a is, financial is institution, but I, like, I yeah, but yeah, yeah at them. bank or yes. something, yeah, yeah, I joined them, mm-hmm. and then I realized I was playing myself because the bank charges were ridiculous. <laughs> I think and I know also, which bank it is. I'm thinking in my I head also. also I'm yeah. thinking which one it is. Mm. Like, and then also they 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 lack uh, ATMs. Eh? Yeah. No man. Oh, wait. <laughs> There's like only ATM. one bank that I'm thinking of that lacks ATMs. There's that, actually a few that's that like very ATM, high. ATMs. Is it but... green? Or is it? Yeah, it has to be yeah, green. Is that dark green, green one? <laughs> is that dark green one? Isn't it? It is green. Is that dark? But green? I don't yeah. think it's the one you're thinking of. Wait. But we'll discuss it the later. The dark green one now. Nah. Because there's the dark green one, and then there's that green, that light green one. That's I'm thinking of the light green one. You know, That's uh, 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 guys, I don't know what which variation of green, but it's green. That, my man, my man, mm. my I need man. To drop we we try to drop hints here. So there's a dr- dark green bank mm. uh, uh, entity that you're talking about. Yes. Dark green, right? Mm. You know. Mm. But that one's like, not that bad. No, I don't think it's that one. It's not that they green. have. They have. That's what I'm saying. It's not that bad. I'm an, I, I, I hardly I mean, find uh, I mean, uh, that green ba- uh, banks. ATMs. I mean, in terms of uh, looking at the other the commercial other banks, one. they have less. But in general, like compared to the the one I had joined, mm. yeah, they don't we all have... know it's the, it's the light green. Is one. it the light green one? It's the light green one. Is it is it the one that uh, that it, it's a bank that ends with bank? <laughs> no. Like I'm trying to get the name. No, it's not that one. Bank no. that ends with bank. The other one. Yes, the other one. Wait, okay. Mm-hmm. Is it the one that first came up with this whole electrical uh, uh, electronic thing? Yes, like it's this, that one. It's the one that, that that came with that like, e-wallet. No, <laughs> not that. You see, I told you. But it no, that you're one. like you, you were just, thinking you just that one. It, you just put it out I, there. I, no, no, what do you mean? Put it out there. Oh, you wanted this for everything. No, but that's what they call it. Is it? I then. But it's not that one. Then bite my head off. They have. They don't have ATMs, guys. Then that means it's the dark green one. I'm telling you. Okay, we'll talk about it though. We'll talk about it. Is it the dark green one? No. That starts with an N. No. <laughs> and you you you're hell bent on the and it's not that one. I'm trying to find out which one it is because it can't be A. There's a lot of A's. Mm. There's a lot of S's. There's a lot of F's. Mm. Those ones exactly. I know. Exactly. Exactly. So it's none of those, but it's not N either. Because even in Brampton, I can at least find ATMs on N. I yeah. can find in really? on, on this one. Joint, yes. I mean, then on which, it, one, is, I which one is this one? Are uh, you guys? Oh, is it I? No. Hey, what bank is it? Hey, I'm trying to think of this bank, eh? Mami, because I'm just like, I'm just thinking. Kyakhale. That's, that's with a W. No. Kyakhale. Kyakhale. That's literally the key word. Yeah, yeah, Kyakhale. yeah. What is the oldest bank that came in? So, yo, but Does it still exist? Yes. And why are you banking with them? That, that's a that's a, that's a really good question. I mean, I'm not anymore, but I well, feel like I played you? myself. No, you know what? Now, I really thought that uh, it would be good for uh, savings, but mm-hmm. yo, the bank charges no, no. I'm gonna find this bank. No, no, we're gonna nah, find nah, it. don't give up. Nah. <laughs> you really don't. Nah, nah, you nah, really papa, don't. Nah, don't give up. Nah. Hey, well, just let it grow. Let no, it grow. we just spoke about the big four. Right? You can't do that. My mind is just gonna be thinking about it all this time. The keyword kehale. Think about it. Yeah, oh. I gave up already. I bro, like I've named the top four, and you told me about the top four. That's not even the top four. I even, I even went to the one with I. You know, <laughs> the one with I. You know the one with I, right? Yeah. You don't know the one with I. I. You don't know the one with I. How? Oh. Oh. The one with the the ambassador. The I. You don't know. It has a mascot. Yeah, it has an ambassador. Or ma- it's a mascot. It's okay. a mascot rather yeah. like, with a zebra. Yes. I, why hey, do you have bank. to now? No, you say it like it's, nah, it's fine. like directly, like, directly, like yeah, actually the one know with the zebra. zebra. Yeah. Um, just say it's the only one that has a mascot. Well, it's the only one that has a know. mascot. I don't know this bank, guys. I don't know it. When are you yes. need to evaluate your life in terms of what you're doing with with your banking things? Like I, Literally. I don't know you like that, man. You just disappointed me right now, man. Bank Yahal, is it Sangoma banking? <laughs> <laughs> Like what is it? When I tell you this, you guys are gonna freak. Is it? Yeah. What okay. is it? Oh, you want me to tell you now? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Oh, old mutual. Oh, it's bank. a bank. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is actually. It does also. Ha, it's a bank. Yes. I thought. It it is actually. I don't know. Yeah. It's a bank. It's a bank. <laughs> we learn everything. Like we learn new things every day. <laughs> no, I didn't. I. I, I never expected that. I, they yeah. don't have ATMs, yeah. 
They don't I have ATMs anyway. <laughs> in my life, at least yeah. one. I feel like with they, with with you, if you're banking there, that means you go, you go get it at the till at mm-hmm. the bank. You go there, you're like, can I have so much money for the whole month? And then they give you like yeah. it, it seems like that kind of bank. You put it in a vault. Don't tell people where you live. Um, <laughs> so basically, it's time for us to actually go through another another um, uh, part of the the show called uh, Lava Seat. You've just heard there's also heard a situation right now from. Uh, Umukel, oh. uh, Utsiyama, who's just been Girl. telling us about the fact that she she chose the wrong bag. Um, she she played herself, and then obviously we're not gonna go with Clay. it's like it's like he just wants us to to nag her to tell no, us. No, literally, I feel like you guys literally like. Nah, there's no such thing that you no, don't have. like. There's no story that like. Look can at her face. Her face is like, like she's not convinced at all. Like, also, like I'm also not convinced, but I feel like, you, I feel like you, the times that I've played myself is like the times that I've played myself with like. Things that everyone has played themselves. Yeah, then like, tell us a story. You waking oh, yeah. up, we and then those ones. Oh. yeah, like you waking up, and then like exam is on that day, and then you say that you were gonna f- sleep till what what time, and then you don't wake up on that time, yeah. and then you wake up in the morning, and it's the day of the exam. Oh, I remember. And that you one. didn't touch that book, and mm. it's like, well, I was supposed to go through this, 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 and mm-hmm. this. That means I'm gonna have to do it in the bus. Yeah. So yeah, that's literally the only study. times that have like yeah, those, played those, myself. Those, those are yeah, those are the stories. I mean, right now, I mean, look at how many people uh re- can relate to it. I mean, I can mm-hmm. relate with it. I mean, I've said it also myself so many times. Like you but know, when you sleep, of like you sitting like, an alarm, and sometimes yeah. the alarm doesn't wake up. Mm-hmm. It doesn't like wake you up, and it's like. Why did it not ring? Yeah. Like I would have woken up if it rang, and then it says one missed alarm. I'm like, you didn't ring, bro. Yeah. You, you didn't, ring. didn't ring. Yeah. So what you do you mean ring, I missed bro. it? I would have heard it. Yeah, yeah. I've I've received that this situation also. Like the, the, especially this thing of like, um, even from work also, even really? work wise. Yeah, like for me, even work wise, where I'm like, yo, I'm so tired. I'm gonna wake up at like at least three. three. It's and always know, three. Yeah. And it's I know that at three. three o'clock until like more four half past four, I'll be done. Mm. And I'll go through the presentation and everything like that. Eight o'clock, I'm there at work. I'm I'm ready. I'm gonna carnish this pitch. Yeah. Come three o'clock. Alarm yeah. actually goes off, ne? But it goes off. But listen, I don't I even snooze, play snooze, 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 snooze. I I don't play myself in terms of like sleeping. I know mm. it's a lie. <laughs> I will wake up when it's time to wake up and get ready. Mm-hmm. I will not. I was not those kids in high school that would wake up in the middle of the night to study. <laughs> I go to sleep when I'm done because I know I'm not gonna wake up and do this. I know. Yeah. One yeah. I know. I hate that, you know those like alarms no. that like <laughs> it wakes you. Like the alarm, you heard it, but like it kind of found its way into your dreams. Yeah, 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 it's, the yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the worst. It's the worst because it's just like I'm busy here and like in my dream, I don't know, my phone is ringing or something like mm-hmm. that or it's just like a distant sound and like, you know. You know, I'm glad that I don't know, my brain has somehow found a way to snap out of like snap out of a dream that has my alarm in it. Mm-hmm. Cause like it'll incorporate itself in my dream. Bro. And then like something in my brain says, nah, be wake up. Wake up. Wake that's up. not it. That's and not- then I realize, <laughs> oh damn, that's my alarm. Yeah. I have a yeah. toxic treat. Like mm. I will wake up on this like on like properly and then chill in bed until I'm late. Guys, like just chill. I just want to tell you, I have a hmm, what's the word? I don't I do not have a good relationship with the word toxic. Mm. Really? Yeah, I was called toxic by somebody. Oh, oh but yeah. why were you toxic? Man? I wasn't called toxic. toxic. Exactly. No, man, no, no, no. Why? What happened? Exactly. Why was why I called, called toxic? Ex- exactly. No, no. Exactly. That's exactly what I want to know. But did exactly. you ask them why they called no, you toxic? I blocked them. Oh, oh yeah, man. Oh, you know, maybe you probably thing. thought you were chakrahan. I am a chakrahan. Oh, oh are, are you? you? Why? Did, why did you guys respond like that? Uh, I like... <laughs> but like, <laughs> yeah, but like, oh, are you? Oh. I am, but like, towards him, it was. I felt like the only reason why he called me toxic is because I told him the truth. Um, mm. yeah, the people who just don't want to hear, yeah, the, the, truth. the truth, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, it's just, I feel like this is so toxic. I was like, babes, you picked up a Twitter, a Twitter word for two days, and then already you're gonna use it on me in the wrong context. Achoo. Not you. So you already you already like on him already also. No, I didn't say anything. I was like, wow, toxic, to- toxic. Out of all the words you could have used, you decided on toxic. toxic. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah. I ouch. Yeah. Not 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 not. It's not, not the cutest not, things not, to be called, honestly. It's mm. not. And I, I I don't think I don't think he thought about it when he said it. He was just he just let it. He just put it. it yeah, he just put it there. And I don't appreciate that about people sometimes. They don't like actually think, think about, about like how what, what the you're connotations saying. of that word yeah, is, is. is and like how it will affect you. Because I was really not okay that day, guys. Mm. Yes, mm. that's was not. You okay. had a toxic day. Yo, 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 yo. I'm telling. And there's a song by Kelani Ne called "Toxic" on her new album, mm. on her latest album. Yay, it's the first one, even. Yeah, but he could be a girl to listen to Kelani or those ones who cheat and then cry afterwards <laughs> <laughs> and say oh. the guy was trash. Wow, no, 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 no. How I'm true like, is that? That, you... I don't think How true is it's that? not true. Men just like trolling women. No, they like trolling, oh, wow. especially Men Chakra Han. Like chakra Han, they women. like trolling girls chakra who listen hands. to Janae Eku, they love trolling them. Chakra Hans, Ashifa, Kelani, babies. I'm pretty sure they even have something to say about girls who listen to Rihanna. So, I know, but there's nothing wrong with girls who listen to. Riri. There's nothing wrong to girls who listen to anyone. They just there's nothing to wrong music. with girls on period. Yes. Let's just say that. Ex- ex- actually, period, 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 period. <laughs> <laughs> period. <laughs> listen. I'm, so I'm, what I'm, I'm not saying is, say I'm men just must just quiet. men and women actually people must be considerate of what they say to someone else. Don't just say something because it's trending or because it's cool because it has real life consequences. I hate this thing of people being like, you know, no, it's just Twitter. Uh, what I'm doing it, you know, for for banter for the likes. No. It has that real life very, effects. Like problematic. That, in this I don't generation. trust you as you, as a person because what you're saying is you're wishy washy. Exactly. You're, yeah, wishy washy. Yeah, say like, the same I like, things. Yeah. I like that thing, eh? Wishy washy. You, 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 nece- you necessarily call it playing yourself gay when, like, it's this person uh, tweets mm. things. Mm. Okay, well, okay, he just tweeted like two or three things. Okay. That were kind of problematic. Mm-hmm. Well, I found them kind of problematic. Yes. But then he's such a cool person. And you're just like, how? This is not the person that's not on Twitter and stuff. Do you think that that person is walking into a trap? Mm. Wait, okay. I need to understand the situation properly. So, in li- real life, they're a cool person. In real life, they're but like on the Twitter, coolest person. They ever. say things for oh, clout. For clout. Okay. Yeah. Um, is that person a cool person or is that person m- a mean person but just hides a mean person? It, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm just like, is that person walking into a My trap? My thing is, I don't believe in this thing of I'm not the person I am on, on Twitter. Twitter. I don't believe in it because as soon as you say something and it offends people, you have to take accountability for what you and have said because you wrote those words and you are going to train yeah. and when brands want to work with you they're going to be like okay but you've been saying these type of things you specific they don't say that it's the person on twitter yeah true when when pearl tusi is writing things about colorism and the whole country's coming at her mm-hmm. they're not saying it's the person you are on twitter no they're saying you as pearl tusi so okay, people cannot hide back to people cannot hide behind this persona of hey, can we tweet because you know he was saying that um what do you call this and that's like with the whole cat situation i'm so sorry to bring it up again but with the whole cat situation mm. you're like i don't understand what his personal life has to do with his job everything is interlinked yes you're like i don't know how his personal life has to do with his job and another thing I it think has everything to do with his job because you're basically you're mm. the face of a brand yes. and when you the face of the brand is doing smart things mm. the mm. brand can't affiliate themselves with you yes they can't and another thing i think with him people think that the the cheating situation was the only reason i think another reason why they've cut him off is because there were um gender-based violence allegations made against him so they had to investigate everything it wasn't just and uh, another thing is when situations like this pop up now stories are coming out of nowhere and we're gonna end up we're gonna end up rambling and rambling about this thing man like it's it's very interesting and you know this topic will never end um so we need to move forward right now guys that is yeah man it is 9 9 11 right now and it is time for us to go to lava seat um after lava seat uh we are basically going to be diving right into uh, street headlines in terms of our topic of what happened at brecken um Mm -hmm. breckenfell high so this is the time where you have to tune in right now and uh get 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 acquainted with us because it's going to be a very interesting, interesting 
last couple of minutes left of the show so um let's get this lava street thing out uh please excuse the banner below that's a topic that happened yesterday um hashtag lava seat is basically what we're going to be talking about today right i've got my questions for you girl <laughs> i've been waiting to ask these questions embarrassing questions that we're going to ask each other guys right now um can it be is it, are we putting the, 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 the no no i'm saying are we putting the banner of the question for, for, no the banner for age age restriction oh yeah 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 we have to we have we to because i'm just want to make sure that the banner is there yeah. <laughs> no, we have to. Yeah, your questions are going to be saucy aren't they Mm, I just mm. want to make sure that the you know sensitive ears don't hear it. I don't comment. Not this one. <laughs> She's not commenting. Who is not commenting? Me. Why? Because we said we're gonna be doing this, but now all of a sudden you're gonna be chickening out. out. Don't chicken out. Just like, mm. Don't chicken out. I'm not chickening out, guys. You know. Mm. I'm not playing myself. It seems like you're trying to. It was head. So do you think do you think we we're basically diving into those heads right now with ourselves also in terms yeah, of playing yeah, this yeah, game? We, we are. I mm. mean, let's be honest. Let me see. Hmm. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna make it light for you guys. I'll make it light. I'm not gonna make it that out. It's gonna depend on the questions you guys ask me. Then I'll see what the next round. What kind of round what am kind I gonna? Of round? I'm gonna what are you playing? How am I coming next? You know what I mean? Uh, excuse the pun. But um, okay. oh, okay. Why? Okay. Like there was no need. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Absolutely people, no other need. Other people, other people Tato, have like, excuse them. Other people Absolutely have, no need. Other people have, uh, you know, messed up mentalities. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shoot me. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Mm. Are you ready? Okay. Let me start I with you. I more for Shagani Pele, but it's fine. Okay. No, I'm just starting with, I'm going with like the flow of the questions. Ah, so okay. if please start with your flow of okay. questions. Because okay. I don't want to set the tone. Okay, let's start. Let's, let's start. Don't let's stop explaining. Let me sit. start. Okay. Yeah, you okay. just need to keep quiet and let me start right now. Are you ready? Drink some water. Oh, all right. I feel like I'm not ready. <laughs> Go. Yeah. I keep quiet. Have you dated multiple people at once? Who? You. You're asking me. Yes. You said I must start. I am starting. I'm what is, looking at what you. What is dating? Define dating. Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> For the fact that you're going to ask, you're going to no, say that also. Of, no, because some people say that like dating, like dating is different than being in a relationship with someone. Apparently, that's what the notes of is here. How many relationships have you had? Multiple relationships at once? Oh, multiple relationships? Yes. No. Said no. But like this girl, I but I, no. and then the other meaning of dating. So basically, dating is going on dates with different people and getting to, to know, know them, all of them, and then yeah. being in a relationship is being committed you're, you're to one person. And do like a connotation exactly. meaning like of it. Like we know that dating is like, hey, I'm dating. That's my girl. I'm dating her. No, that's but what like, we see, know that's it what, as. That's what, and I thought. Too, that's what we're talking about. No, I thought that too until I was corrected by this other person. She was just like, no, no, she's fine. I got, I got me is. Even Michelle said it. Oh. She's like, guys, I'm dating. I'm going out. I'm seeing people. I'm getting to know people. It's yeah, not that not you know I'm busy with them like that. I'm really just getting is to it? know. Is people. that the, really the difference? Mm. Well, yeah, flip me apparently. and call me a monkey. Um, yours to whoever. Mm. Oh, aren't you supposed to answer it too? No, no, no. She has her own yeah, question. I have my own. Oh. What's your biggest fear? Why everything is being? Yeah, because you we cut down our way. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <I> got that. <laughs> what is? What is my biggest fear? Um, mm, is that a hickey? Snakes. Snakes. Is that a hickey? Snakes. Snakes. That's a hickey. Snakes. That's is that a hickey? question to you. Snakes. Okay, I'm going to ask you. Yeah, that, <laughs> I'm yeah, my biggest fear. <laughs> Snakes and rats. Snakes and rats. Okay. Yes. Snakes and rats. Your question? I'm <laughs> asking. I'm asking. I'm asking. Two questions each. Two questions each. So anyway, you know why questions coming. Yeah. 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 No, you already asked. Yeah, that, it's and fine. I, you can't use your one token. She was asking me the question yeah, and you asked it at the same yes. time. So you used that token. No, you didn't. You know, it's fine. I'll I was take at the it. same time. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. okay. Anyway, ask. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna dive into the. Uh, as I roll my eyes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna dive into the, the 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 tough, the tough ones. Okay, Tato. Yeah, I see you, Papa. I'm ready for you. How long? 
is your shortest round? <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah, I didn't. I didn't see that one coming. Yo, I, I'll be. I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you. I, I think. I think. I think I'm tired of I'm trying to Uh There's a thing called an okapi. Like, I think. I think they did something to a thing. Mm. <laughs> something was wrong there because I didn't understand. Uh, Dude, it was, just just call it a bad day, guys. It, it yeah. wasn't. It wasn't a bad day, dog. It wasn't that. Just take responsibility. You know why I'm gonna say it's not a bad day? <laughs> really, I want you to turn around, ne? Ongpeg. Right. I'm. I'm trying to explain this, and when I'm saying yokap, you know yokap. So yokap is like basically, it's um, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's like as if, you know, when when a guy dates a woman, ne? Mm. and this guy like they've they've done some rituals and stuff like that. So they do something mm. to her thing that whatever guy tries playing there. Oh. <laughs> you know, wow, some ish like happens. That's what happens. Well, you know wow. what? I'm gonna, you know, why I'm saying that. You know, why I'm saying that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna explain it. It was three minutes. He's, he's... And you know, why? No, I'm explaining. You asked me a question, I'm answering. So, no, no, but I'm, no, 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 no. but I'm, let him, let him. I gave you guys, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. yeah, the shortest run that I've had because of Leo Okaple. And I'm gonna tell you why it was an Okap. Mm-hmm. It was three minutes, it wasn't a bad day, baby girl, mm-hmm. because this thing happened round after round after round after round. Every guy knows you cannot have a bad day after the first round. The second round must be more a minute than the first round, mm-hmm. it's never less, but constantly. Mm-hmm. Ah, you don't know, I'm <laughs> but just that's, to answer your that's question. what you that's what you think but oh that's what you believe maybe, maybe it's we, just a bad day it may, it that's was, what i'm saying maybe you guys don't understand i'm a man i'm a man i'm a man i'm a man i'm right. telling you that's consistently right. like consistent. oh man guys round after round after round after round after round Nebra, 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 nebra. It would have been, it been if, if it was a bad day. Let me tell you guys, if it was a bad day, it was going to be after that one round. Mm. When I come back again, my thing doesn't even stand up or like, I'm just not there. And if we have maybe a second round, maybe it's five minutes this time mm. or 10 minutes. That's how, that's how the, 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 this, works. this guy works. Mm. But you can't be ejaculating after three minutes after three minutes after, uh, uh, round after round after round like within an hour hi right, guys we know these things they happen but anyway that's what it is okay As... <laughs> okay, okay this is a question directed to you mm-hmm. and i'm gonna put you in the hot hot seat because yeah it has to make you uncomfortable yeah, but okay. you ask me other questions so tall when <laughs> come okay. who which means you have to name the person oh. <laughs> Are they allowed to do that? Yeah, it's your questions, bro. Okay, who was your first kiss? Oh, uh, okay, that's not bad. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is like, I feel like you should have asked, should have asked that deeper one than, than first okay. kiss. Um, my first kiss was some guy called Tamsanga Kasamakwena. Oh, Plus. yeah. Full, full um, name even. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, he's a daddy now. He's oh, hectic. Yeah. But he wanted to be a father, so I, congratulations to him. Mm. Um, yeah, it was at some, I forgot what the lodge is, is called, but it's it's somewhere in Pretoria. And it was a mutual friend's birthday, and we were both there. And I thought he was really cute. How old are you? I was 17. Mm. Your first kiss was 17? I mean, don't judge me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm shook. <laughs> yeah, it was 17 years old. Probably yours was a seven. No, <laughs> I'm innocent, no. y'all. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna prove that right now. No, we're gonna prove that. Stay tuned. We're gonna prove that right now. Mm. Um, whose turn is it now? Okay, it can be mine. It's Someone your turn. Has yeah. to ask. Or... Yeah. Mm. Oh me, him, him. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm. 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 How many relationships or homes have you wrecked? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relationships and or homes. Mm. Relationships. Uh, be, or please homes. be specific. Both. I'm being Count all of the under the same umbrella. Like, yes. yeah? like yes, how many times yes. like I've taken a woman from another man? Yes. yes. Yeah. No. I don't know. I don't know the Are number. You having so trouble counting because there's a count. lot. Oh. Every girl that I dated was like Came in from, a relationship. Oh. Exactly. But you can't go shopping for shoes without wearing shoes. Like Zueli, Zueli just said it right now. He's saying you so much confident. Bro. But it's the truth though. Like, um, just... 
And that's one of adjust, that's why it's adjust, one of my biggest fears adjust. also is that I know that one person that I'm gonna love, they're they also might. gonna take them from me oh. also. Your but, karma. Yeah, yeah, but um maybe I've had only one or two relationships that I've taken, like not taken a person from someone, but me and that person dated and they were not dating anyone. But the rest the rest, the rest they, they, they were in relationships. Hectic. And I don't that's what I'm saying, I don't know the number. Hectic. <laughs> Hectic stuff. Uh, from from even from even primary school or shall we stay in a Shall we stay in a Pastor is anyway. <laughs> ask him. <laughs> ask him. Oh, but I wanted to ask you that question about that that's day, bruh. Like when am I getting my second round of questions? I need to get my you're second the, round of questions. After me, I need to so okay, but you're supposed to ask her. You never asked her. Oh okay. yeah, I haven't. Stop I you attacking now. me. Why are you fully like attacking me? Like, yeah. Attack each other. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't be so Don't be so Are you ready? I mean, if, if I say no, what's gonna happen? Okay, no. Anyway, exactly. have you have you went on a date to beg a modeling gig? No. Okay, good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. No, she 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 hasn't. She says she I hasn't. Haven't. She says she hasn't. Okay. I I that's my first token to you. Okay. Okay. Wait. So I'm asking. You no. know what you guys just like look no, at you, you me. Either we're asking you or you're asking us. Mm-hmm. Either way. And then we come back to you. Yeah. So and we need to wrap it up. Right? Mm. Okay. So. I need to come up with one good question now because for like who? for who? For both of us. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Good okay. Which one are you gonna ask her? Like, are you gonna? Um, okay. I'm gonna jump onto your okay. question. So you'll ask and then. You'll be the first one to ask me. Must I ask her. Or must I ask her first and then you jump on too? Because we need to ask her like two questions. That no! With that, no! With that situation. You know what no! I mean? Like you ask one. No. I jump on that one. No. Okay, Sham. Yeah. No. So, San <laughs> I'm asking y'all. Oh, okay. Okay, first, okay fine. Ask. ask. Okay. Um, okay, when did you lose your virginity? Yo, I she got you there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least you didn't ask who. Yeah. In 2017, on the 24th of November. Three years back. Yes. Okay, I need a good one for you because I feel like the one that's coming now. That's <laughs> very <laughs> nice. I hate y'all. <laughs> I need to make you feel so uncomfortable. It's not even funny. I, I don't, after asking me that question about three minutes, <laughs> I don't think there's any uncomfortability I'll ever have. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, you, you literally, you, you okay, wait, all since, of them. since, since, since it was it's closely related yeah. to you. Okay, how many virginities have you taken? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. Yo, yo, since y'all wanna, <laughs> y'all wanna start with me. <laughs> but y'all wanna, we weren't going this deep, honey. Hey, bro, you going you deep, going eh? deep. Two. <laughs> Why is that a tongue out? Two, because you thought I was gonna have a lot. I also thought I was gonna have a lot. I, I do people that like experience, mama. I do oh. experience. Oh, okay. I don't, okay. I don't, I don't okay. like oh, teaching people. Okay. Nah. Uh, yeah. Now, nah, two men. High okay. school. Um, high school actually twice when I broke mine. Um and yeah, the other one was yeah when I broke someone else, but she was older than me. But I broke her virginity. Oh, it was still in high school. You have a thing for older women. <laughs> yes, like you know that old thing. Yeah. Anyway, can we go to you and finalize yes. this thing of yours? If you guys had to see how you guys Saggy. look on the on the on the camera, yeah, we don't we don't like, care about how we look. Y'all are like okay. y'all are like hey, you, you look yes, good, by the way. Yeah. You look good, eh? Um, you look good, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look too. at that dimple, yeah. You know, yeah. The, it's not a dimple; it's a beauty spot. It's a beauty spot, but it looks like a dimple. Even when you it smile, it's like looks like a dimple, eh? Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, look at that, hey. You see, she looks good. Ooh, okay, yeah. cool. So, Sharon Pile, yes. Yeah. Mm, we here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that that thing on your neck. What? Is, oh, who who caused it? Mm. Are you really gonna ask me? Yes. Who? Yes. Who? Yes. You oh. asked me who was my first kiss. Yes, but this was the first kiss. This is recent. <laughs> it's fine. That but we can be uncomfortable. Even without, if we you don't answered. Give name. We answered though. Be fair in this game. Who? Nilalel. His name is. <laughs> Fine, I am so sorry. They put me in an uncomfortable position. Mm. So yeah, onta. Onta. Mm. Mm. Can I ask you something now? This is my question now. This is my second one. You got your answer. This yes, is my second did. one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, kill me now. This is my second one. Was was it just was it just a romantic thing or was it? <clears throat> what do you mean? Were you guys? Were you guys? Thing? Did you have it whilst having sex or how did it happen? Was it through sex was it or was it just vibes? What do you mean? 
Did it happen while you guys were having sex? No. Or did it just vibes? It was, it was just, just vibes. That's the question. Do you guys get hickeys? For, you know, I've never had uh, a hickey me, in my me life. I, I've had, but I've never had Your a hickey. Your hickey comes without... with hickeys a lot to work. <laughs> no. No, I've never had a human. He life. is ambassador him. of coming to work with Hickey. <laughs> it's just these past few months, there was there's nothing. Oh. But when I first started, ha, huh, guys, every day there was a new Hickey <laughs> on your neck. I don't know what I'm hearing. <laughs> and you laugh it because you like it's true. You, it's true. You had like your. I used to figure. I'm like, oh, this guy literally comes to work with Hickey. with a Hickey. Every day, different hookies. Yeah, I, that I, I was even asked in the meeting, but you, I didn't, you, I didn't even expect it. And it was like, you should wear scarves, Tato. <laughs> <laughs> was it summer? Eh? Was it summer? Yeah, like just recently. Mm. Anyway, um, for me, I, hickeys, guys. Like honestly speaking, I've never, I've never received or given a person a hickey just for vibes. It I don't has know what to you be, mean by just for vibes. It, I get it. I get it when I'm in bed. That's okay. what I'm trying to say. I get a hickey right. when I'm having but sex. Like, it doesn't have to be, you know, it can be like just it's chilling. Yeah, it, yeah, you chilling. Yeah, and like for and me, then it's the making out uh, part, and it, ooh, it doesn't ooh. have to get to. I, for me, it's like my I, second question to him. My second question to him. So, do you guys remember that thing? Yeah, Teporango. Which one? Which one is that? Where he had a thread, um, about how him and his friend were not actually really friends. Okay, so my question to you, Tato, is have you ever been friends with a girl, but you guys, like, you cross the boundaries? But yes. Yeah, then, basically. Yes. Like, like, did you become something more, or did the friendship just no, dissipate? No, it's like that. The friendship just, she, she got married. Oh. Okay. Yeah, she got married. So, okay. it's just, that. but yes. Okay. Uh, under, under carpets, no one knew. She lives in the same, same street. Well, now people are going to know. <laughs> but they don't know who it is. So they want to probably think, there's so many girlfriends that I have in the oh, street. So people are going to be playing laws of averages to find out who it is. They will know. I ta, ta, ta. They oh. will know. Oh, yeah, nana. Anyway, nana. we are done. Nana. You guys are done. Pry <laughs> yes. me. Oh, you, are you done with your questions? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. She only got one. Did you. she? Yeah, she did. She hasn't got the second one? I didn't tell it. Oh, I'm I like, didn't. That's not fair. Oh, yeah, you're right. I did it. Oh, have you, and this one I, I needed to ask. I needed to ask. I'm sorry, guys. I know we are we're making it quite disgusting and quite sexual in terms of this, but I'm gonna have to ask. Have you ever had oral? Oh yes. Right. And how was it? That's um, um, why. <laughs> um. Um. How do I explain it? Like it's it's really. Was okay. it like a cucumber or a Vienna? <laughs> Oh, hectic, bro. <laughs> I only got that, like, and then... <laughs> uh, it was... Hectic, bro. You, you can call it a cucumber. You can call it a cucumber. You can, it, it, it suffices. It suffices. It suffices, oh, you know. Mm. Okay, was it your first time? When? When that, 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 the incident, or have you had it, have you had oral more than once? I've, had, I'm I've had it more than, more than once. More than once, okay, yeah. cool. All right. We are done with the disgusting things. Let's go back now to um, the, the, serious thing. the serious things, the street headlines. It is exactly half past nine right now, guys. We're going to go for a quick edit. When we get back from this ad, guys, we are basically going to be talking about the Breckenfell High School Ooh. incident. And uh, the important question that we are asking is that is South Africa moving backwards? Who are we blaming for this incident that just happened right now? And also, is there a way for us to actually solve the issue? So please let's do, uh, do uh, stay tuned in terms of Melville Street. It is your unconventional breakfast show. Uh, for now, though, let's go to what spa has in store for Ooh. us. Ooh. Have a shway. Guess what, livers? Spa Melville is giving away a food hamper valued at 500 Rand. To win, all you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, I Love Melville Live, and engage on our weekly shows, Melville Streets in the morning from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., and Melville Drive in the afternoon from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., right here on I Love Melville.live. Yeah, man, right here on I Love Marvel. Dot um, If you want to win yourself that 500 Rand spa uh, hamper, it's basically simple, guys. You guys just need to go to YouTube and subscribe on our YouTube page, which mm -hmm. is I Love Marvel Space Live. I Love Marvel Live. 
and you subscribe and then you comment on Marvel Streets or also on Marvel Drive um, during the course of the, this week. And then we're going to announce the winner next week. Actually, not next week, actually. It's on Friday. That When's the 13th? Is it 13th on Friday? It's on Friday. Yeah. It's, oh my Friday. Gosh, it's my brother's birthday. Is it Friday the 13th? Yes. Oh, damn. Woo! I love it. Nice. I love it. It's my brother's birthday. Mm. His birthday is on Friday the 13th. Yeah. Bro. I am not going to groove on that day. <laughs> Friday the 13th. The groove. I feel like that's such a superstition though. Like it's... That's hey, for some, me, I don't know is. why. But like it, it... You know what for me it does? Mm. It, that my Fridays become like this. They become like so. If my Friday starts good, they end bad. If they start bad, they end good. That's what it means. It doesn't do anything to for me. Honestly, honestly, it's just a day. No, it really is just a day. Are you guys like it? Do you it's even groove? Tata? Tata looks like the type of person who just like chills at home and watches um and call this place FIFA, ah. and then he has his like beer bottle next to him. Yeah, and he like oh he looks like those people who play. Explain, Fortnite. explain it again, please. Explain it again and explain it nice. Like explain it again. I'm closing my eyes. Just explain it, explain it. Why? Just explain it. Visualizing. <laughs> okay, so you like like staying at home. Mm -hmm. You've got a beer next to you playing FIFA. Wait, 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 wait. What beer is it? Corona. <laughs> How cold is it? It's, it's, it's cold. like that. No, it's, it's lukewarm. <laughs> lukewarm. <laughs> hey, you just destroyed it. <laughs> exactly. I'm trying to. You just, just destroyed I'm it. trying really. to. And watching that soccer game, watching... Uh, the Barclays Premier League mm, watching yeah. the until leader. your team loses and, and then, then he's crying out. because he's like you know his team you know. loses mm -hmm. and then he has to call his mom and be like yo which I, my team lost which I don't even call my mom but anyway it's fine when my team loses I step out I go to a pub or club mm. and no. then I have one I don't two, see him and then I come club. back you know I don't see you either maybe a pub or a tavern what does what does that mean? That does that mean that like, I don't have a vibey look? No, I have like a boring clubs, look. Clubs, it's either really young men or really old places. The 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 the, the yeah, but like I wouldn't even see him like people. at a you know great day or something. I wouldn't see you there either. And that used to be my group place. Really, really, yes. Yeah. Like, great day. Mm, that's nice. It's nice. It's nice. No, you know what? What I like. To. I love really um the 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 roast. Sunday roast. Mm. Is it a great yeah, day? Yeah, it is a great yeah, day. Yeah, that, that's don't, you don't even know. I've anyway, never I been just on go, Sunday. okay? Yeah. You well, you live there. Are you? Well, I exactly. Just you, just you live there. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, speaking about living there, let's talk about living here in South Africa oh. right now. Um, so we got Great an interesting thing. thing that we're going to be talking about, guys. It is time for street <laughs> headlines right now. The seriousness is time. It's time for us now to close the show. On a Tuesday, we close the show with seriousness yeah. in terms of what's currently trending right now. So um, we are looking at the incident that happened, the Brecken, um, Brecken uh, Fell High School incident. Yeah. And uh, we are basically just going to be talking about it. So for those who don't know, let me explain before we show you the clip. For those who don't know, right, guys, um, the MEC Education in the Western Cape, David Scaffer, has condemned the act, um, the attack rather, outside a Breckenfield High School, which happened yesterday, uh, between EFF members and residents around that place. A protest by the EFF outside the high school against alleged racism uh, turned violent on Monday morning uh, when fighting broke about between demonstrators and residents. A man 39 years of age was arrested after he fired several shots in the air from within a group of crowded protesters outside of the high school. While the man was reportedly first charged with attempted murder, the police later confirmed he had been charged for public violence and not attempted murder as previously indicated. Now, Scoffer lashed out at the incident saying she was deeply disturbed by the violent clashes that occurred over a private matric celebration organized by some parents of learners who attended the school. She says, I strongly condemn both the actions of EFF members and those parents outside the school who used violence to address their concerns. Violent attacks are simply not acceptable and will in no way benefit our learners. Violence is also not the solution for solving disagreements. I urge all parties to engage with one another in a responsible and adult manner and for SAPS to ensure that our learners are protected from this kind of violence. She also further on said, our learners are currently writing metric exams after a stressful Ta -da. and difficult year. 
And the EFF knows full well that this kind of confrontation will disrupt learning and cause unnecessary distress to our learners. To deliberately instigate this kind of confrontation clearly demonstrates that the EFF has little concern of the welfare of learners. Now, the Western Cape EFF chairperson, Melekaya uh, Tsengu, said he was applauded at the behavior and aggression he witnessed at the organization's protest outside Breckenfield High School. He says, we are not happy about what's happening here today. Our intention was not to cause any chaos, but to peacefully protest against the racism at the school. We stand against racism as the EFF, and we have proof that the function was a racist act. Now, Scaffer added that whatever uh, one's views may be, the fact is that the event is question is in question rather was privately organized at a private venue by private individuals. The school had nothing to do with the organization or management of that event. It was not supported, funded, or endorsed by the school in any way. The school did not hold a metric ball this year owing to COVID-19 concerns. Now, on top of this, another quote was found. I want you guys to hear the story properly before we dissect this. The Western Cape Education Department cannot and will not take action against educators who were invited as guests and attended a private event which they did not organize and had not pri no prior knowledge of the attendees. We are also not in the business of prescribing who people must invite to private events outside of school property. Hmm. Now, I've got the video. I want to play the video also. Yeah, let's please just see. And I'm not playing this video. Not because I need excitement, but because I just I want to see like what I, I I want us to play the video right now. So <laughs> did you have it uh, ready? <laughs> this is the video that erupted. Hey, push the police like no one's business, yo. Yo. <laughs> Wait, but why are they wearing sunglasses and hats hiding the faces and the stuff? What's going on there? Mm. 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 This is hectic. Oh, look at this guy. Yo, this guy is you, standing he's like, there, like with his <laughs> glasses. Mm, mm, mm. He's just he's like, like, I'm not moving. Yes. Mm. Mm. Is that your guess? Mm. Yeah. What so is going on in this country? The police. the police. What is going on in this country? So the question we are asking right now is that looking at the incident that we just looked at in Breaking um, Break Fell High, um, is this is this a sign? A sign of that what? South Africa is moving backwards again. It's a sign that South Africa hasn't moved. moved. Yes. Period. Yeah. Period. Because I'm just thinking about the fact that like there's so many instances mm. where Afrikaans uh, high schools will they'll be put in the news because they've been 
racist or there's a racist teacher mm -hmm. or there's racist laws. Like I remember in my high school, um, we had a law that said that you're not allowed to have dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. On, on yeah I still remember also in my high school also does the yeah, same thing. Yeah, and you you had to have like certain type like. There's just so so much policing that happens in schools that mm. is dominated by white people mm. that have white white mentality really because they, they they consider their own hair and their own color and not anyone else's. Like I'm mm. just thinking, remember mm. that incident that happened at Pretoria High School mm. yeah. where that girl was fighting to wear yeah, her for, natural hair yeah, yeah. at school. So I I don't think it's that we're moving back. It's we that just we need to find moved. a way forward. Mm. I feel like in a lot of the times when people draft to the code of conduct and everything, they don't take into consideration that you are in an African school. Mm. I mean, well, mm. you're in, okay, your school is based in Africa, mm. which means that African children will be attending your school, which means that you have to also take into consideration African their hairstyles. African hairstyles and everything their like so, that. Cities and their it's mother tongue. Yeah. 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 So now looking, we looking, also had this, like, there was and, a rule and, that you're not and, allowed and, to and speak exactly. I understand. Like, I understand that with the mother tongues, like, but, uh, you know, let's say, for instance, it's an it's it's strictly says that it's an African school. So when your parents also apply, they need to know that the schools say. I mean, yes, there's their schools. Listen, speaking Africans, it doesn't mean now we have to assimilate. No, and no, 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 not that. So what what I mean is that mm. with this incident, in terms of this whole breaking, breaking so which I really I hate, really hate with 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 all my might, um, is that the incident in terms of what the teacher was saying also is that they had a private party. Mm. Um, at the school, yes. But for me, is that you can say that you, your teachers, and everyone were not involved in it, and they were guests. But however, this private party that was happening, obviously, was happening in your vicinity. It's like so. For in instance, me saying, so how do you not it's know like, about it? It's like for instance, that's that's what I'm trying to refer to. But I'm trying to get an understanding, and I need everyone to uh, be open minded in terms of this topic that we're talking about. And please do say, share in your comments yeah. um, about what we're talking about, uh, whether you agree or whatever comments that you have, whatever comments you can have. Um, no one's going to judge you. This is a platform where we don't judge people for their opinions. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, it's it, it seems like out of out of reading that from IOL in terms of her report um, mm. and her interview. It's like me saying that in my house, I rented my house out for a private party where there are basically maybe prostitution that's basically taking yeah, place. The, I'm trying to make an members, example. Yeah. You know what my I mean? My family members are also implicated in that whole thing. I'm but trying I to make an example. You know what I mean? I'm trying yeah. to make an example though. Um, don't put words in my mouth. Man. I'm trying to make <laughs> examples about it. Like, So I'm, I'm, I'm hosting an event right mm. i'm against prostitution for instance yes. i'm just giving an example right mm. but a client comes to me or someone comes to me is like hey yo listen um i want to rent out your house um to host like a party a private party mm. obviously it's my duty because it's my house to find, to find out. out okay what party yeah. is it that you're doing mm. and actually you are going to tell me that's what happens mm. you are going to tell me oh no listen it's a private party um and I am inviting be... i am inviting prostitutes to come to the party and make I'm money like, there. and make money there i'm like okay and then i will have a thought out of that whether i allow you to come through or not right mm. it, it's a thing but in that incident and i don't want to play in i don't know in her incident is that she said that the party was hosted by parents of the kids right mm. that's that's what she said that's what's been mm. read that's what the, yeah, that's yeah. why that's why you know like there was this protesting happening yeah is that the parents hosted the thing. So this is not something that went through the governing school body kind of thing yeah. that hosted this event, mm. right? And those are the ones that sent out invitations of this party, but they didn't want this party. The school didn't want to do the party because of the COVID-19 regulations mm. that they can't invite all the matriculants. And yes, Breckenfield High School has black students also, right? But however, the reason is that in this event, no black student was invited to it. Mm. to this event which erupted to the protest happening but at this point the teachers apparently were also invited, invited. as guests yes. so and i want to know that like, is it is it a situation here like i want to know if i'm over i'm overstepping you know what mm. i mean or maybe what i'm saying right now but i'm asking questions mm. i am not i am not coming up with with with, with the conclusion with a conclusion i'm yeah. asking the questions as a teacher invited to as a guest as at an at a party where in the list yes fine you don't have anything to say but in the list of students that you have 
and you see that the students that you have black students were not not even one was not invited even one was invited are you okay are you okay about it mm-hmm. you know what i mean like do you still go to that event or do you like if do you, you question, morally right? yes have mm-hmm. questions or do you like oh maybe it's just a coincidence do you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. but then as a parent also in this governing body mm-hmm where your kid is invited to it i'm talking about other parents also who were probably not involved through this yeah right. but their kids were invited your child because of invited. their ethnicity yes mm. when your kid is invited and you are there and you know that your kid is friends with Spongile, Spongile but Spongile's mom didn't receive an invitation about joining do you question it morally or do you say mm. i maybe because you know what i mean mm. do you think... do you like where where where, 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 where does it begin? Where does it start of questioning the invitation? Even if rightfully, because it's a private event, they have every right to invite whoever they want to invite. Mm. If they don't want to invite black people, they don't have to invite black people. It is their event. The, the question, question is, is the moral, morally on the school element of it, right? Was it justifiable from the school point of view? Or would have that event rather be hosted at a different place where the school kids who are matriculants who are black don't feel left out by this event because they are going to know about this private event because skilled school kids talk about these events mm. they do so that's the it question behind been, it i feel like if you wanted to do if they if the parents wanted to do this private event mm. and we're not forcing you to invite black kids like it's your private event it's child whatever mm. if you wanted to do that then don't do it on the premises of the like school. of the school mm. with the mm. teachers with some teachers mm. and it is the question that you are asking because as a teacher again I mean, mm. i'm being invited to this event and then okay i'm looking at the list and there's no black people i'm obviously going to be like why is that mm-hmm. and what the, it yes. basically it's it's the what do you call this it's if you're going to host something at a school, it's basically a representation of the school. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And this says a lot about um, their management and their administration. Because mm. I'm thinking, obviously, this is past their office. Yeah, they yeah, saw this, mm. and then they saw the the guest list, and they were like, you know, it's there's fine. no black person, but that's generally okay. They didn't and even question the teachers, it. They didn't didn't question mm. it. Mm. And then mm. as soon as mm. you know what, Nem, I don't know how I feel about the EFF arriving outside the school to protest especially during this time yeah. i feel like it's a very critical time for mm. matriculants especially but mm-hmm. students in in general i, I question mm-hmm. i question them also yes, I, I, I i question mm. why why they did mm-hmm. that like yeah there's, no. there could have been a different way they, yeah i feel like there's I feel a different like approach we all know that and i'm not saying yes, this is radical something, yeah the radical their radical behavior but not like this yeah let's let's be radical with sense yeah mm. with direction i think that's one thing that you have struggled yeah with, to be though. radical with sense and direction so i i don't understand what that was for but i understand why they were up in arms yeah. because it was in a situation like this and i also went to um a predominant not predominant but it was an african school which school is right and i i noticed that things like the sgb um and our um, what's this our um, the teachers structure basically mm-hmm. from principal all the way down to teachers people in higher power would always be the white people mm-hmm. and when they'd have events at school and stuff like that mainly it would be white people but also i also noticed that in in, in a lot of the instances is because black parents did not want to involve themselves, themselves yeah. in yeah. Mm-hmm. such mm-hmm. situations. Mm-hmm. So I think we also need to take that into consideration. consideration. Yeah. We can't just say now that, oh no, they were being racist. When no. I mean, if the parent, the parent, if parent like, doesn't, like, doesn't want to be part of the SGB, yes, you know like, what I mean? Well, well, what then how are you, how, how, who's going to fight for you there? Exa- no one. You no know? one. Um, white people will fight for their kids. And yeah. that's literally what happens. It's like something in, in high school happens. Your parents is the, in the SGB. Mm. My parents can't even come to the principal's office when they call them and I'm mm. mischievous at school. And for some re- and it's a disadvantage to me. Yeah. And it's an advantage to the white child. Yeah. So I think in this situation, we we before we 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 are quick to judge and mm-hmm. quick to be radical, we need to understand what what happened behind the scenes. We can't just yeah. say that no, yeah. they were being racist. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, you know what? Like in, in terms of in terms of looking at at, at the at, at the question and 
how we were asking these things right now mm -hmm. to find a solution is as questions of morality from individuals who are part of yeah. the, the event you know um yes people have their own set of beliefs and whatever it is and that's not our fault you know what i mean like that's that's that is what it is you know yeah. um other people are subliminally racist like some mm -hmm. people are unconsciously racist also hmm. where they don't even know that they are being racist but yeah. you know they are racist in terms of the approach so in this incident for instance it is the argument of whether the school should have administrated this event better knowing that they are they are public school that represents the public affinity of it and the fact that the, the students that are there in that school in matric are also um black students Mm. I really and and understand that I, i'm just i just want to know i just want to know like would have that event rather been better if that event was taken to a different yes. venue yes. area yes. instead of the so school that's my problem if, because you can really host anything that you want privately anywhere mm. and invite whoever you want but mm. the minute you put it at an institution that represents every single ethnicity and mm. you're only giving the privilege to one that's a problem. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. looking at the history of South Africa, people are obviously going to get touched when they see that this it's the privileged in ethnicity that is the one that, mm. you know, yeah, yeah. That, that got an invite to this event. Mm -hmm. I feel like if they wanted to have, if it, it would be so important for them to have it at Breckenfell High, then they should have been more inclusive. If not, then they really should have had gone to a rats yeah or yeah like you can really go it, there was no yeah. need for it go to be at the school. school yeah yeah do you agree please do send us your comments right now um this is i love marvel live at marvel streets unconventional breakfast show send us your comments do you agree with the team in in terms of uh, this whole uh, break and fell high school situation um Tlaki and uh tiama also i mean the questions um i'm i i'm a fan set i have to ask questions like unfortunately yeah. as it's so it's so unfortunate man. you know like sometimes i love my job sometimes i hate it but um as, as the station manager basically i can't i can't voice my opinion fully like mm. i need to be very cons uh, considerate also in terms of what I, that's why every time yeah. whenever i speak there's certain things that i have to hold back yeah. and ask yeah. questions so what i'm I trying to ask is whether you guys agree or not you know with the team with what tiamo and like you said that the school is the one that needed to be responsible for making sure that that event doesn't even happen in the school if they are representing all ethnicities for a private event that and especially is only because, focusing on one ethnicity. Especially because now the school wants to wash their hands clean and say, we didn't know, but it's happening in your grounds. You have no ground to stand on if you're saying you, you didn't don't know. know. So what do you, do you not lock your school gates? So that's mm. then we're questioning then the administration yes, of, the of the school there now and how safe are people okay, going to that school if private parties are being held and y'all don't know. Mm. I see that another question here is, will there ever be unity in South Africa? Mm. Yeah, Nen. You need to know in, in diversity. <laughs> it's our it's our what's motto, yeah. but it's very it's hard to live by mm -hmm. because diversity, this thing of of difference, it 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 speaks different speaks. Yeah, and the minute you see that you, there's something different between you and another person, that's immediately what we want to identify with, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. me and myself. I the, the the first thing I'm gonna notice is that you are male mm. and I am female. Yeah. Right. And that's the same thing between white people and black people. Mm. As soon as there is a situation like this that happens, we realize, oh, so all of you are black people and I mean all of you are white people and you left the black people out. Mm. So in terms of unity in South Africa, I don't know if we'll we will. It's just not going to happen today. I just or want tomorrow. to know, like, my question... Honestly, <laughs> <Honestly. Honestly. laughs> it's, it's going to take us a few years. Yeah. yeah, my question is, because this is what people always say when we ask about, like, unity in our country mm -hmm. and everything, and people are always like, well, it's time to, like, rip the bandage off and scrub the wounds clean because mm -hmm. all we did was just put a bandage and move on. Yeah. yeah. But how do we go about then scrubbing those wounds clean? Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Mm. It is the unconventional breakfast show. We basically voice each and every single thing that's uh, the top of our uh, top of our heads. Mm. Um, and I uh, had a fantastic show and a fantastic run with my team. Shout out to you guys! Thank you very much for coming through every single day. 
<laughs> Don't look at me like that. What? Oh, you're <laughs> sick. It was sick. We understand. Oh, we were sick. Yeah, but then that that face that, that face was like every single day, yeah. excluding someone. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna be having an interesting show once again tomorrow again, seven yes. a.m. Uh, until ten a.m. Um, by the way, uh, Tiamo, where can people find you, baby girl? Where can people find me? Mm. They can find me on the socials. Um, my I don't use Facebook, but it's mm. Tiamo Mobi Instagram. Tiamo Mobi and then on Twitter, I'm Tiamo underscore mm. I'll change it to Tiamo Mobi someday. It's just that Twitter is such a long process. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. How's how's been? I, I want to find out this before I even close and ask guys like and Peter. How's the experience been so far? Like with uh, on you? Oh, I mean, it's it's your it's your it's first time. Baby. Yeah, um, doing, doing with with. Uh, like no, it's your first time doing radio. Basically, being a radio presenter. I mean, you've you've done YouTube, right? What? No, it's not my first time. It's not your first time doing no. radio, is it? No. Is that why you're hired? Why I'm what? Why I'm hired? Why yeah, you hired? Experience. Experience. Yes. Experience. <laughs> so wait, no, wait, wait. I I thought you just did a YouTube channel. That's why I, I was. I yeah. I mean, I still do. So which which radio station were you at? Be at before? I'm still at it. Is it? So you you. We've you, had this conversation. You, you're doing two radio stations at the same time. Yes. So you're taking my content and you're taking it there. No. <laughs> be, be careful. Be I'm careful, Tato. One, I'm with be four careful. different other anchors and we holistically are responsible for that show. Is it? And it's, it's it's a weekend show, so very different from this because this is breakfast. Yeah. And yeah. it's a it's focused on creativity. Oh, and yeah, we, we focus on, on focus everything, on like politic, polit- you guys are, we're reading politicians and Mm. Mm. Social mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. I can't believe this is you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'm good. I'm good also, man. This the how's how's the experience been for you? I mean, this was your first time being I mean, I didn't answer the question to be quite honest. Us. Yeah, but like do answer it. Oh yeah. It's been really good. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it. but like your opportunity is gone now. The oh. spotlight's on me. You oh. can't just keep shifting the spotlight. No, but then, I mean, you, you guys didn't let me answer. You guys were like, yeah, it's like, how are you? You're like, oh, so you're working in another radio station. But That's anyway, um, it was great. It was great. It's great having you to join to join the team. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and just just making sure that... As long as people love me. Th- yeah. That's the thing. Just making sure that, you know, you, you, you just... To, you stop with the other place, you know. Like, it's my you job to make sure, here. yeah. You just you know? stay here, you know what I mean? Like, people must just know you about this platform. This should be the only radio platform you should be on, you know, not, not other platforms. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> just putting it no, out, no. Here, you know but I mean? anyway, dude. I received a job offer this weekend, really. You really did, and I didn't take it because I am dedicated to what I'm doing here and I'm, I took yes, another Wayna. risk Dedication. in terms of what I'm doing. But anyway. Something, some people. Yeah. Guys, it's with, <laughs> it's with my team. My team. You started with them, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Makes sense. yeah. But why don't you guys just come here? Eh, 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 suggestion. Yeah, it's a, it was just a suggestion. Then, then at least you're just in one platform instead of having 35 platforms. But anyway, it's a topic for another day. <laughs> um, Sarani Pile, um, it's great seeing you again. Yeah, um, coming back with your teeth. Yeah, yeah, really? thank you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't blush. Don't blush. Everyone is beautiful here. Yeah, yeah, don't blush. Ew. I can blush when I want to. Okay, Yo. fine, fine. Hey, you're Yo. gonna make it political, Lou. Like, and we're just talking about blushing. <laughs> you're gonna end up making it political. But no, it's it's really been great, honestly. I'm having so much fun. It's been a blast. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Nice. Tato, yeah. how how how's your experience been? My experience has mm. been a roller coaster. Yeah. Mm. Yo, on this show. Yo, my experience. Yo, has actually, been a roller it's like, been a roller coaster. Speaking, it's been a roller coaster. Um, I've had, I've had, I don't know, I've had like, I don't know how many co-hosts within the space of four months. Mm. Don't like, get deep. No, but it's the truth though. Like it's been, <laughs> it's, been a ro- it's been a roller coaster, man. Um, but yeah, uh, my experience has been great. Um, I love what I'm doing and I'm not going to give up on what I'm trying to bring out regardless. Yes. And also whatever offers the people, unless they offer me more money than maybe but like this this for me i feel like is my journey this is what god has given me to do and um i'd rather die at least you know happy. running the station mm. happy than actually go to another radio station and earn that young forty thousand rand a month just to do a weekend show which they not even allow me to do my own thing here yeah, so that, 
if I had to choose, I chose I chose this place. Oh man, that's what passion is. I chose this place. That's what passion is. Uh, you know, you know I, 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 grew, I grew into this place. It's like one of those things, like a lot oh, of people. Is, yeah. I grew into, you know, when you start something, when you start your own business, it's it's, it's that thing. Like when when you guys grow it up, lags it lags at the beginning. Exactly. So you you really you need to keep pushing. Gotta keep it good. And you gotta make gotta choices. Keep it good. Gotta keep and it And shout out to you, gotta, really, gotta also. Shout out to you, my man. And uh, your brother is your brother is recovering. You see, that's nice. That's nice. And what a way of ending the show. We're ending the show so sadly. You know, with like background music. And background music. <laughs> so uh, whenever you do something in life, make sure that you bring that inspiration in your life. I like that. <laughs> Goodbye, but guys. Can I end it now? Yeah. Can I end it now?